Alrighty, and uh, we are back and celebrating the one month of keeping up with streaming. Uh, so at this point, it's probably as cemented into my own sleep schedule now as a new hobby to actually keep on top of. A healthier habit than just fuck all except actual work that I get paid for. So, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome for everyone, uh, returning, or those of you who are new. Uh, I appreciate you guys joining me for this, uh, little celebration. Uh, almost forgot to send the thing out on Twitter. Perfect. But, uh, yeah, today celebrating, gonna try my first four-hour stream. I have plenty of water on hand, so my throat hopefully doesn't go out. And we're gonna go back to basics with Purse. The fun challenge, which I have already beaten before, I believe. Where is... No scaling... Ah, here it is. Hey, no, I have not. I guess I haven't even done on Purse then. Uh, but scaling energy, which is a little tricky. Because every battle I only start with one energy, second round I get two, the next three, so on and so forth. So early on battles I'll either be relying on very good blocking or items that don't cause energy at all. But uh, with four hours, because it seems to take a little less than two just to get to the end of a nine floor dungeon, I'm hoping I'll be able to make a decent head start into the Endless Run continuation at some point. Uh, we'll send, save items for after a level up so I got space. Uh, let's see. And he trades items based on rarity. So if I get something good rarity, but it's a shitty build. Hmm. Let's see. So to start, we're gonna go with one meal for the extra energy. That should be enough for them. We are going to deal our first hit on... Actually, no, we'll go for him, because he's a little bit weaker. The fire, we're going to put you... Actually... Yeah, because I believe that goes to the end of turn. There you are. Now we just kill him first. Weaken them. Ah. Ah. I learned about that trick from the Discord, but, uh, apparently I can't use it to just freely clear all the fire. It's a shame. But with that, he is dead. <coughs> okay, for spaces, we can do our typical one up here. Two if we get boots, and... Uh, I guess this time we'll do it there. Give me something good. We've got some armor. That's nice. I'm still not sure I'm supposed to use this. I think I have to have a bow, because it doesn't let me just throw it. And it's... Unless it... I have to use something to destroy it. Which would be an interesting mechanic, if true. But uh, we'll definitely go with the armor, because we just need to survive for more space for bigger combos. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. And the one-off shield is incredible for this run. <clears throat> uh, but we'll still save that loot chest and take out these guys. So first... First we're going to have to take out him. Because he will explode in the less least enjoyable way possible. Oh, yep, there we are. So now we can go pop, pop. We'll do the one use shield then. Hoping from this battle I can get a two spot shield to replace that four. But at the very least, that one is over. Another four. We'll start expanding up here. And that. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see, we will store magic for later. Definitely take the free shuriken. Mm. Oh yeah, I should probably start working around this. The 
Let's see. Must be next the weapon. So we'll do this so we can take. Yeah, take the hat. Actually, does five with that, but how about. That gives us six, even better. Uh, and then we will do that, that. Take two more, so definitely wand out. Yeah, why not? We only got the one weapon, and that's free. Let's use that for turn for combat. Perfect. And then, uh. I should check to see if that chest has a lock or not. I'm gonna assume it doesn't because it's first floor. Nope, not. Not there. Uh. Actually, first, do I have anything rare? I've got a common. I've got an uncommon, but no. No. And yeah, we will open this chest. See, another uncommon. Not super useful now. Healing. Ooh, we got a spade cleaver. It's weak, but in combination with these other stuff we have... It can meet that, and getting a cleaver build will be great for this run. Let's see, yeah, it's up to five. Sorry, over the seven, not great, but you know, uh, country girls make do. Mm, I think we're going to take the chance by taking this uncommon item to the trader, and hope for something better, or at least the same size. Uh... Counts as a structure. By having it, we're more likely to find other structures. Which passive blocking would be good? Hmm. Let's see. No. Now, as val valuable as it might be, I it's going to be a while till I can get a structure build done because that is something that requires space. Oh, and this guy's not too bad. That guy, if I bide my time, I'll have excess energy to take him down. Uh, Raven's Palm. Let's see what this guy has first. Oh, uh, just reach in on this ring. I might be pretty good. Keep options open to ditch this ring. If I can save up another energy for clothing, though, then I can start heavy combat with two. But if not, hopefully I can get at least good for a haste on a shield and pick up a better shield. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to be going for. Hoping for 40, but if not, we'll pull back on a 24 haste upgrade. So to start, we've got 8, so we don't need any additional blocking. We're going to take him out first. Just because he gets multiple attacks and the uh, small rat wolves only get one. Let's see. Do this, I'll get a total of 6, 12, 18, which is barely going to get past that armor. So, yeah, we will take our one new shield. Not doing nearly enough, but we're going to do that for, do it for the meme. <laughs> Alright, now, 6, 12, 18, yeah, that's still not enough to kill him, but with only 7, we can't get through normally. Now the spikes are really starting to uh, stack up on him. So if we can, there we go. And we'll just toss another block to show him just how hopeless this is. There we go. Okay, another level up we will do. Let's see how much power we got. Three more that direction. Another three there. Let's start expanding this out so we can get more items around there. And actually we'll remove that to do this. Yes. Okay, so we've got normal one. We've got uh, the breath of whetstone, which isn't great because it's only one turn. Uh, ooh, all weapons is great. 
Yeah, it's free damage. I'll do it because it's free damage. Uh, ooh, another rose. So we will do this because uh, armor's not upping that potion damage. That is literally all I can take. Hmm. No, we don't have enough good of a good build to really use that to get more mana. You know, perhaps later. Oh no, no better. We've got ooh the treasure finding. We're gonna hold off on you because I am going for that forty enchantment merchant. Uh, he's got another cleaver, which would be it wouldn't be great, but it does increase the chance of finding more cleavers. So that's definitely not portable. Ooh. This would be really good. If only I can get more armor, I could really build on that. Hmm. Let's see, what are we up against next? We've got a little bee and a rabbit. I think it's worthwhile to get the lucky star. Uh... Get another cleaver. I've got a good chance to be able to find yet another after that lucky star. What these worth? They're only worth three. Three. Yeah. I'm gonna use up one of the cell slots for that. Get a second cleaver, and hope that I find more. All right. Just switch those positions. Ah well, uh, we will roll with it. That luck. Yeah, might as well go big, go home. Then uh, we'll use the one action from that. Alrighty. And this time he dies, or not. Oh, well, it's only four damage. We'll have to just pay a bit more attention to the math. Uh, let's see, we've got this one. Weapons get stronger with more hazards. So we do this. I got another normal cleaver, but I guess just increase those chances. I guess that really just leaves poison, or... Actually, no, because this will give me ability to last more turns, potentially, with out having to give up uh, attacks. But in an event, we've got another traitor, uh, but of the same rarity, which again, not great. Yeah, there is just the one shield. Okay, so we'll start with weakening. Defense can last through that. The slime's gonna be a bit rough, but uh, we win some, we lose some. We're gonna start after red, because I think I think red is more likely to get stuff like curses. I don't want that to stack. We will put one there, there, and there. See, I'll still survive without more armor, so I'll do that now. That. One, two. Oh, right, it's one energy for the slime, yep. Yep, I'm not stupid. Okay, and now is when I actually need to start using this. Pop. Go all out. Okay, so we. Ooh, haven't seen catapult in a while. Uh, now it gets strong with hazards. Hmm. It is absolutely useful. Sorry, useless without any. Oh, and then destroys. Hmm. No, won't do that. We will. We'll take the flowers. 
So once I figure out, uh, we'll get rid of one of Cleaver. Do that. And it's still early on. I can afford to steal that food. And I think... I think that's good, because early on again, the spikes are going to help save my ass. Uh, gold or experience? Well, we're going for gold. Oh, and I forgot there was that healing there. Oh, never mind. Let's see, that guy only trades for... So of the same rarity. This guy was the scavenger, right? Yeah. Well, shoot, I'm definitely not getting that haste. Because I, I really want to replace the rough buckler with another shield. And I can't even... Sorry, I can't increase uh, this one at all. Uh, and I don't really have the space I want to try and make room for the big boots either. So I guess that is my build, unless I get a good uncommon or rare item here. Nope, I got another boot, though. Considering I just got healed by that fountain, let's take this, and that's just more passive AC. Ooh, thank you, Bronze Breastplate. I will probably keep you to the end of the game. Let's see. Yep, yep, we're doing that. Just double check. This is burn to weapon. Hmm. Team for burn. It's got one slot on the spade cleaver. Yeah, why not? Wait, no. Hmm. No, I'm going I'm going to hope the next forge I come across, I still have a chance at energy clothing. So yeah, that is it. But well, we will toss a few his way. I'm not sure if this is affected by the luck for weapons. So you know what? Why not test it? We'll go ahead and toss ten. Because that still gives me a healthy amount. And more than enough to upgrade health after the boss battle. But, uh, okay. Alright, just weird pop-up all of a sudden. So yeah, this guy, who I can just uh, get through easily. Perfect. With flowers, I can get two attacks in. Sorry, three attacks in. We're 18, and now this is where you uh, start losing big time, Mr. Three Mice in a Suit of Armor. And now this is where I cheese it. Uh, Pun slightly intended. We're just gonna wait. Just one more turn. Because then he kills himself. Go all out on him. Look at that, they're not able to hit me at all. Boss goes down first before he can give everyone dodge, then him. All I'll be taking for that is three. Okay, so we're starting to get a lot more room. Let's start expanding this little weapons area. Actually, we'll do this, because then we can move one boot over and we still have a good weapons area. Ooh. Do that. Cross the shield there. What's this? Cannot be, Cannot be placed in the same space twice. Ah, okay, so end of combat. Just move it. Mm, might be good for early on. Effects are applied twice. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't quite understand the dumbbell loot box. This would be good if I start getting some. Uh, Consumables. So let's go with the loot box. If I can get it to chain a bunch of shurikens, 
That would be absolutely lovely. Uh, ooh, we got a legendary item. Hmm. Well, I think we're definitely gonna. T ooh. No, we're definitely gonna take the helmet. Again, passive armor. This gets stronger every time I'm attack, and it stays until it's used. This does straight 16 without having to be attacked. Slightly stronger, but less valuable. I'm going to stick with the repair. It'll at least stay until I sell it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's getting a bonus from that armor. I just really give me a 1 by 2 shield, please. Let's see. Increase this max health. And, uh, an enchanted swamp. Let's see, do we have another energy? Dang. Uh, we do have a chance at haste again, though. That's nice. Racial melee. It is a melee weapon. It would be very good. The only thing that could be better is if we get one of those uh, cleavers that trigger other cleavers. Let's see, item of the same size. Uh, we'll pause that. We'll pause that for now. Maybe. Ugh. And... I might not be able to make it to those hearts, but that's fine. I am pretty healthy. Let's see, so first round, I've got an armor. He's gonna heal. So there's really no chance of me doing anything really this first time, but we'll do it for shits and giggles. We are gonna go after him because that healing's really gonna slow us down. Especially because she's got poison. Uh, we'll give it a few turns for that to load up. She's gonna do 11. My defense is still good. Okay. Total of 23, not yet. Not yet, yet. No, I probably could have skipped that turn with all the healing going on. <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, I still have 23. The next turn, I'll go ahead and knock him out of the repair. And I can start focusing on this woman who cursed me. So first, that... Yeah, I definitely have the damage to do that. Or not. Ah, well. That's back to nine, that's back to six. We do a total of 35 in a round. I I wasted that for Pierre, didn't I? Because uh, I can only do 30 in a round. He's finally down. Alrighty. 16 men. Does my scaling energy only go up to 5? Huh. I don't remember saying that, but that's not too bad. Yeah, why not? It's not the worst cursed item. And doesn't have any passive damage that'll actually hurt me in the long run. Let's see, what's this? Ooh, it's a one spot that turns. Let's do a check. Is that. Okay, so it doesn't have to be directly next to it. Okay, I think that's worth the one rose. 
Uh, let's see. Honestly, this one's not doing a whole lot for me. So we'll swap that out with the Joker. Go. Actually, we'll do that. All right. Wait. We need to swap that there. Perfect. Yeah, we're not getting some good magic stuff yet, so we'll go ahead and take that. Because while the healing is okay, let's see if the loot box works on those. So, uh, yeah, that's everything worthwhile. Let's see, two, four, six, uh, I should just be able to make it. Dang. Ah, oh, well, we got him who brought some items for us. Uh, you're the guy that bought and sells fish. I'm good. Another spade cleaver. Let's see. Yeah, we will go ahead and sell that. Uh, what's Blue Rose do? Ooh. But it's 12. Well, let's get rid of that. Definitely get the spade. Uh, actually, we do this, and I can actually chain it to use those if I ever really want to. Ooh, but then I can't really. Oh. Hmm. Now I'm trying to trying to chain that is not going to be great. Keep that cleaver for a chance of getting more. And we've got enough to get a one rage on a melee weapon enchanted. So first, let's see him. Please, more cleavers. I would love the options. No, but you know what? These expendables are not bad. Ooh, let's see. That gets me six gold, though. Yeah, we've got some pretty good armor. We can last a lot of first rounds now. So sell that. What do you do again? You just had block with mana flowing? No. It's certainly not. Eh, it's only three. I think it's worthwhile doing that. Oh, all right, you're the fish guy. I can't remember if I checked this vision. All right, it was her. First we are, there it is, Rage to a Melee. It's only one, but it'll start stacking. So it's not a one use per turn thing. Yeah. Let's see, item of the same size. None of these... <coughs> But these are great. I want to keep both roses for the stacking spikes over time. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it as is. Because that enchantment really blew through my gold stock. Okay, enchanted swamp. No choice but to fight this guy, so I guess... Uh, let's see. This heals. Eh, not horrible, I guess. It's only once per turn, but you know what? That's fine. Wait. That's... Huh. Right, a little weird. Probably should have waited that for another turn, or at least targeted him. Got good AC for now. Let's go ahead and Alright, he's only got three 
back so far. 12, so yes, go. All in, so the rage starts to stack. Once again, got plenty. Now it's where things are going to start getting tricky. Hmm. I have the AC to spare to take this glitch potion. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. That's an only out of combat thing. Okay. Yeah, we'll just use this to keep the rage up. I'm going to take one damage. Just fine. Give me some rare cleavers, please. Uh, let's see. Pop. Pop. Let's see, I can forward one, two, and then... Yeah, probably didn't need to block because I still have more armor than their attacks. Uh, but it's fine. This time, though, let's be safe because we're going all in on the big guy. There we are. So now we're doing a total of 16 with that one cleaver. going on him so we can maintain as much experience as we can afford. All right, there we go. So first, let's see, let's just do one for each blow. That really only benefits their armor. Yeah, we will replace it for that. Do this, we're gonna might as well use this on the curse. So if we want to get rid of it in the future, we can. Uh, let's see. This adds luck, so yes. Can I use a glitch poke now? No, I have to do it in combat. Huh. Let's see, if it weren't for that hat, it'd probably be worthwhile re-rolling the items, but I guess we'll just take what we can get. Uh, let's see, this ring... These items next to it, but then they are disabled for all of combat. be worthwhile. If we did this, would be the equivalent of using this Joker Cleaver on that. Or actually, to this we could start getting kind of mini Cleaver combo, only once per combat, but paired with a Wild Buckler, That'd be very useful. All right, yeah, we will do that. Then we'll keep this. Hmm. Actually, we won't. Let's see, we can take the regen. Oh, wait. Can't take more items? Damn. Crying shame. I suppose it's only expendable items I have are these two, and I'm probably gonna keep the glitch until I can sell it. Oh, speak of the devil, there's a merchant there. Then, yeah, let's go uh, get that money. Hey, take that. Ooh, the Hercule Pavis. Can shields get used? You know it's a two. Seventeen. I have just enough for it. 
Hmm. I want to go for the free shiv. Even the ring, so I can start getting. Let's see, there's no blacksmith on this floor, so I can't check to see if there's a regen enchantment. Uh, this is still going to be the best option. We're going to put this back two turns. So then turn three, it's on the cleaver when I've got multiple. Ooh. Saving up for the smoke dagger. Ah, that's a big choice. That is a real big choice. We will hold off on the pavise because I might be able to get another level up out of this floor. If he had an expendable to buy like food, I'd probably do it. Let's get the experience and check these events. We've got this guy with a cleaver. Ooh, this is a big one to get. Just with this, I don't have to do the cursed version. Get the same. All right, we... That's a special celebration. I'm going to absolutely uh, save scum this. I want a fun cleaver build, please. Let's see, we're going to line up with the L on land. No, no, back the other way, damn it. Oh, save scum, activate. Continue game. Please let me start getting a really cool cleaver build. It's all I want today. Okay, let's instead go to the other side on the why of you? Ooh, yes, yes, no. Gives me herbs? I mean, that worked pretty well with this loot box, but eh. Especially for one energy, so no. That's not even a good consolation prize. Come on, save scum, third time's the charm. So let us see. First, we did the L there. It went two over to the right. The Y brought us to the herb. So let's try the center of the O and U. There we go. We found it. So this, the strongest one. See, it's only adjutant ones. But if I do that. This isn't really sellable, so we'll just ditch that. Do this. That. Again, third turn, that'll start hitting. Actually, let's see, does it, it only does the next one. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. This will start to. Uh, no, let's see, eight. 6, 14, 20, 25. So we'll put him there so it's easier to remember which is the rage one. We'll do this so that clears also getting the armor boost. Is there anything else I can really do? It does not look for it. This doesn't have to be in the top row. Which means I can get that just next to the boots and still have yes. That is good. Mm. It'll be a shame I'm not getting on these that have to move so much. We'll do roses over here. Alrighty. So I'm double check the math here, so it activates all three of those. There. Let's see, as soon as I get a queen cleaver, which does diagonals, this will be able to be set up so it's three out of four turns, always facing a weapon. Let's see, we've got honey badgers, we've got the skinks and the salamander. 
Uh, all right, we still got this event. Oh, you're the one with the magic book. Um, we'll see. We will see. Then this merchant also had another cleaver, didn't he? No, he had that shield. Let's see, what's this? Armor. With just any armor next, it gets one. Does seven block. This does eight. As opposed to increasing the other armor I have. They both have the same enchantment slots, so yeah. I think that's another worthwhile trade. Yeah, because that's activating two of them. I can actually get three like that. Yes, beautiful. Okay, this build is really starting to come together. The only thing that can be better is we'll, we'll get a shiv for now. Because as soon as I get that rage really stacking up, that is going to be a godsend. Okay, so first we're taking the shield guy out because the fucking smoke. Let's see, I can't use the king first turn. I've got enough AC to not have to block. So yeah, we will start with that. And that. Yeah, 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 you're giving me the smoke. Wait, is this the... This row. So it starts with the row, not the column. Yes. Yeah, because that'll minimize the damage for the next turn. For freezing in place. Let's go with this. Because I can... I, I might end up using that dice after this combat, which it won't matter. Ooh. That is very tempting. If only I had the energy to actually get it. Ah, uh, sad. Let's see, I yeah, still good armor for everything. That. Boom. What? Got destroyed. Oh! Hazards count as being destroyed? That's awesome. I uh, don't need a short arrow, though. And there's still a smoke puff to also get destroyed and have that happen. Brilliant. Uh, you know, that's in a good spot. Let's see, now we're starting to get dangerous. So 18-9, we still have a good defense. And we could do one more, so uh, spade. Call a spade a spade. <laughs> yep. Okay, so yeah, loot box is great with hazards. Uh, once again, going after you there. Now that I've got four energy, I can do two of these. Let's see, 10, 14, yeah, still more than enough armor. Uh, and yeah, I guess next we'll do honey badger, knife user. Uh, he's, oh, I got a boot this time? Ooh. Hmm. No, this is not worth it. But uh, thank you, loot box. This time, a uh, loot box. So even if it lasts long enough to still be there. Yep. So that still counts at the end of turn. Ooh, another shield. The up in this row get one damage. Yeah, I think mana is not coming into play for this build. Let's see. Uh, an extra energy. You know what? It might be a stupid idea. Let's use the dice now, just to see what we get. Oh, I can't use it if it's anchored? That is new. Uh, it used to be you could still do that. Well, then yeah, I guess we're taking that shield. We'll keep the roses, because I hope to get more of those 
Uh, I mean, ships are cheap. It's not a massive cost, and being able to use an energy early on is good. Especially with the loot box. Anything? Nope. That is fine. Uh, we'll get a little bit of health, a little bit of gold, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's going to be a tricky battle, but I'd rather have the extra energy for it now. We are just going to save there just in case. All right, here we go. You fucking bastards. Okay. So he's not a tr problem until he starts dying to my spikes. Don't think he gets anything big, and he's mainly defense. I'm only going to take one damage with this crew anyway, so we will get some cool drink. Get poison. Oh, yes. Do that. We got enough for the King Cleaver first round. Uh, poison all. Wait, sorry, that was the, uh, the carafe, but that's fine. Still worked out. Alright, let's see. This might be a turn I have to block. So that's 25, 7, 32. Yeah, that, uh, that calls for the Wild Buckler. I can only do one, but let's tr Let's see. Yeah. All we got is that Rage. Uh, you just gave everyone regen? Well, it's a good thing I was putting you on the uh, top of my shit list. You die from poison. Let's see. I can kill him with the King Cleaver, but I think all the extra damage will be wasted. For a total of 37. 5, 9, 14, 20, 31. Not enough to kill him, so I can't kill anyone. Well, it's another big shame. I guess we're going to have to risk the extra damage. Damn. Oh, and it just went straight through the X guy. Ugh. But armor will survive, at least. Excuse me as I just uh, water bottle ASMR to refill my cup. a lot easier for the stream if I'm drinking through a straw. Okay, so first up. How did you fucking... Oh, you regen before you got poison. Well, I want to make sure you die, so fuck you. Okay, next, the big worry is him. Yes, because he's the most likely to kill... There we go. And then I can get just one more defense. Sorry, one more rage. Yeah, it looks like the Rat King is mostly blocking. Not a strong attack, so take out this other lackey. Take out the turtle. And one more rage. And I uh, just kill ya. Kill ya. I kill ya. And I kill your buddy. Okay, now three spaces we will go. We're starting to feel a little cramped here, so let's go. One there, one there. One there. I think that maximizes the... Another Joker Cleaver. Yes. Let's see. I want to keep the cleavers up against him as much as possible. Wait, what's this? It's eight, but it can also become the total blade, which deals 16, but hurts self. Uh, interesting, but no thank you. Actually, you know what? I think... I know I just got the chance for another Joker Cleaver. 
Actually, it does more than this spade, so yeah, we can do this. There we go. Uh, yeah. Start getting the useful fields over there. That's just passive damage. Good, good. Legendary bow. You know what? I have enough spots for that to be worth taking to sell. All right, Mr. Merchant Man. Take this shit. I do not care for it. Put you back there. Uh, let's see. Can I use this in the shop? You know what? Let's try it. I'm not sure if this is intentional mechanic, but let's try it. Imagine if it does work. Ah, okay, no. It's a little weird that it lets you go to that menu, but man, how amazing would it have been? Let's see. Once per turn, 20. Let's, let's finish clearing out this floor, just because there's a chance that there's another... Uh, Smith later on. Let's see. Yeah, they get blocked to everyone, so we focus on the healer first. Uh, not enough damage to start, so... That. Oh, I forgot to reset that. Oh, well. Okay, now we're starting to get, let's see, 22, 26... Do that. Oop. This time, poison, so I definitely have this. One extra rage, do that. I could get another spade. Is that worth using up all my energy for? Yeah. Yeah, it is. more spades I have, more likely I'm going to get more spades. But even though that one is kind of useless, we will be leaving it. And I've only got one energy. We will... Let's see. 8, 19, 22. That's perfect. We're going to try and maintain rage a little bit longer. Okay, so we start with this. Then double king. Next one. Yeah, that one, because it's pretty likely. Now you just don't have the numbers to defeat me. Yet another Joker Cleaver. I mean, if you insist. Uh, ooh, we can take another rose. Kiss from a rose on the gray tip tape. Uh, I think it's about time to sell the loot box, though. Not getting a lot of use out of it. Uh, one more fight, because we got the warm drink. And we can leave that there to pick up on another fight. Actually, it's just that one item. Uh, no, because if I do that, that cleaver will disappear. So we'll do that, get some healing. And yeah. Well, now we are going to maximize healing. Do these on two different turns, and actually do that so the mug gets some damage. Alright, to start, once again, you. First, heal from that. I get, ooh, new status effects from all enemies, fun. Now I can freely get that, Duh. let's see, don't need a block, so we will just get that rage, that it will be erased because I can only get one. Uh, but once again, up here on the roses, because losing extra spikes for a turn is not a huge disappointment. Let's see, 18, 24, yes, we are going to 
Block that, keep Rage up. This time, use the mug. And got a random key. Okay. Uh, Alright then. So next time I got three, we do this, we do that. And no more actions. Uh, ooh, I got this emerald. But it's in this column. Let's see, that'll take a few turns to get around, so... Yeah, we will... Oh, I can't rearrange, though. Ooh. Hmm. For the value of it, we'll toss him the king key spot. Unless, wait. No, it doesn't let me rearrange when it's kicked. So, yeah. Uh, I was hoping. Let's see. This is not valuable, so activate loot box. Oh, okay. It's multiple uses, and there we go. Another key. Ah, uh, you're doing fantastic game. Uh, there we go. Now we end it. Okay, so we can get Matryoshka a beast ring. Hurts me, but eh. We'll do Matryoshka's. Yeah, ooh, mm. now for this for the space, it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, let's, this is a good one to just redo. Ooh. So loot box works out of combat, nice. Get another spade. Ditch that and hope for more non-spades. Uh, which of these, wait a second. This destroys an item. Don't need that. Take this. Uh, let's see, we're gonna sell the relic. Probably trying to rearrange and get that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, ooh, and another merchant. So let's uh, clear out this one first. We'll do the, do the loot box. Ah, uh, because it's not helping us great. He won't take any more, but he'll let us buy this. Uh, we'll put a pin on that. Let's see what this other merchant has. Okay, we've got this pair of boots again. This the panic ring. When I'm under 50 health, I get an extra energy. Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing is really speaking to me. Yet another spade, though. Let's see. Uh... Toss you like this, like that, that there. Oop. That. Alrighty. Yes, that will do. I wish I had some ways to up my luck. Though we got the conductor armor, no spike shield, no lock in burn. No, no. Dang, so we're gonna have to wait till let's see what is it next is the boss? Floor seven or eight. Ah oh, well, we've got all these valuables we can check for more things to sell. I don't have that key anymore. Uh, let's go Lucky Right. Uh, we've got another helmet. We've got disgusting food for extra energy. Let's see. I think we're at a point where we aren't really getting a lot of use out of this. Especially with how far back here it is. Let's do that. I should note this because I can't use that first turn. That looks good. 
And the next up will be going to the boss. Uh, what's this guy again? This is the book weight mate, right. Let's see. It's eight gold. We can go ahead and take the chance. See if it's something we can start building around. We've got a basic ass book. Ugh. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, we're gonna keep the dials and rod, because that's the only thing that might be worth getting rid of. Next combat. Well, actually, no, we don't have use for Fleenberg, because we don't have the loot box, so I guess we'll keep that. Oop, go to the merchant for selling. Merchant for... hmm. We'll hold it. We'll hold it, because that might trigger some more main, uh, book, sorry, magic books popping up. Okay, so yeah, we got the speaker. Okay. So first we are going to... We're actually going to save that for round two. Actually, no. Let's do it now for double rage. Most of it now. And yep. Okay, now total damage coming at me is 192230. First one that has to go down is this one. Let's see. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Yes, we reorganize this because then we will still have extra energy gained from using it this turn. That we can do this. Left's not bad, so we're going to keep going after her this turn. We really need to get her off the table. If she keeps bringing out all these enemies, it's going to be a rough fight. There we go, and it doesn't matter because we don't even get experience from summons. There we go. Uh, put you back to there. Once again with this idol. Uh, let's see, the ginger. That's horrific for this build. Uh, the tusk. Items cannot be rotated. Items cannot be rotated. Hmm. If items are not allowed to be rotated, that means... But it might force them out. Because let me see. I have to put them like that. Mm. Meditation tool is the safest. I have a bunch of items I can move without major distress to my order. Keep that for the aesthetics. Yeah. yeah, that is going to be it. Healer, yeah, we'll take the extra health, because we've got the gold to burn. Items, we've got shitty shield, let's see, boots. Seven, six, total of 13, so I definitely can't get that much. This is legendary. What's worth getting rid of for that? I suppose this spade, because it's not going to be activated. Yeah, I get way more damage out of this than an additional... Do I, though? That does four, but with Rage Act... No, I'm overthinking it. I'm going to keep that. Okay, and... 
typically frozen heart is safer. Okay, uh, so we have no choice but to go after the cultist, so might as well just get this out of the way. Cannot kill anything. Okay, uh, starting off with a solid 30 out the bat. Alright, I can't kill him. 10, 20, 28, 34. So yeah, definitely can't. Uh, see how we'll do one block. Increase my diagonal line does not help. We'll get a little bit of damage in. Start with that guy because I think that we do more berserker after that. No, he does. Yeah. Definitely do this for the extra rage, but we're going to start with him. So now we've got 11, 22, 22, 31, 40. And that'll take him out of the picture. There we go. These guys don't get stronger, though they're still going to hurt a bit. It's better than them both getting beefed up. Time. We target guy in the back, guy in the front. You join the wrong cult, buddy. There we go. Duffel up. Now I get three spaces. I'm just going to really increase this area. None of these are great. So I guess another Matryoshka. You go there, twist the here, get a top hat now, which gives gold, mm, gold not super important, gold cleaver, passively gives damage. Just anything near it. So now this is not needed as badly. I should have put one of the spaces there. Well, if you learn. Let's see. Thank liquid armor for safety. Let's see, spades typically do four. Also does four passively ups around it, so we'll do this. Is this the way to do it? Yeah, because then we've got one every turn that's activating. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I believe that's the best we can do with this. Take the top hat to sell as rare. Uh, sure. We'll ditch one of those. Disabled up on the top row. Well, Guess we'll do that. Why not? Uh, let's see, we got health there. We have to defeat more cultists. So we... Hmm, nine. We can afford to take this forge first. Something useful. We got regen to a ring. Haste to a shield. Or slow to what? Slow is the... They don't block as bad. Eh. Region to a ring. We don't have a ring. Haste to a shield, then. Actually, how many spots does this have for upgrades? Just one? Hmm. Actually, I think I've gotten to the point none of those are going to help me. I might be wrong later, but for now. Uh, let's see. Item of the same size. No, it. It's it's a cheap cost to do this, because it's only two damage sometimes, considering where I had to put it. Oh, sorry, I must have the wrong thing. There we go. For a brick. Hmm. Yeah, it's still cheap enough I can do that. 
poison? You know what? Poison will work fine. Because that's two enemies, and I've got these cultists here. I've got to take him down first, though. So we'll open up with poison. Let's see, 17, 26, 31 total. Yeah, yeah, we'll start with liquid armor so we can get some uh, good hits in now. Into there. Then this next round, I uh, just finish him off. Start with that. Yeah, just for one more rage. Uh, sucks that I have to keep taking all this curse stuff, but no, it's the uh, suffering from success. Fuck, I really hope I get another one of those uh, inventory randomizers. Let's see if we do that. What's this? Increase max HP, that's worth taking a blue. This is Jack Cleaver. The above is used. Okay. optimal place for this. Because I, I have to take the Jack Cleaver. I do. I think it's by doing this. Let's see, because that's six versus four. Yes, that's good. Actually... Doing the jack lever to that. So then sometimes it'll have to be multi. No, way it can't. Okay. Now this is better here, getting all those. Rage has to be there so it's used every time. Yeah. We will do that. It will not spin for the same effect. Uh, let's see. Yeah, for an uncommon, mm, but we do have mana. Uh, yeah, this is really starting to suck. Okay. We will ditch this. We will uh, want to use the clean. We will. S okay, can I use it now? No, it has to be in combat. We will take this. Use that the next combat. We got two spots. One of these will pop up after that combat, so we'll get them. Yes. Yes. This is the most optimal for now. Next level up, I have to take space up there. I have to. There's no two bits about it. And now, health. Let's see. Rare item of the same type. Okay. I can use this to get rid of a curse. You know what? You have tempted me. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No way I can get to gold or experience. I'm going to save scum and hope this does not just create a rarer curse. <gasps> Heart cleaver. Ooh, can't, so curse counts as common, which makes sense. But this will start helping me heal. And if I can get multiple rage things on this, that'll come in great. Uh, sadly, that makes this one even less usable now. But we will hold on to it just to have everything filled. So again, more cleavers I have, more likely I'm going to get more cleavers. Oh, right, sorry. Forgot to check. I want to check this now. Now, let's go to the merchant first and sell this legendary I've been sitting on with no way to use it. Uh, we've got a luck. Sure I can. That's good. 
I really like to find the gem that heals if a adjugant weapon is used. That would be superb. Da, 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 da. I guess I'll have to make do with this. It's this, uh, use one turn, but no. No, not great. Yeah, because it's just so cheap, we'll take the one there. We'll check this. We've got nothing great. No. It's all common, so luck should keep going up. One last treasure chest. Ooh, we've got the glitched potion again. We also got that, but it's pretty hard with the cleaver build. So I guess let's see, you're already cleansed, so we can leave you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because this is not currently not usable, just with its placement. We'll take that, sell it. Go and I think well, I can sell one more, but I don't really have anything. Uh, let's see, what was your build again? Sorry, what's your thing? Item of the same size. No, cleavers uh, do not make up enough of the single square items to risk that. Uh, I don't think I checked you on this level. Oh, right, you have the stuff I can't really use. I do have the money to burn though, so you know what? Let's go with haste on shield. These other ones have it too? Well, it wouldn't matter really, because I only need one shield to have it. Just spam the shit out of it. Yeah, and I still got more money than uh, I really ever need to use. Okay, we've got choice between robber, hare, defender, and polar bear. Two living shadows. Well, let's check the event first. Potion for health. Uh, rain check. We will rain check on you. Focus on the living shadows. Do that. Do the extra health. I still get two to start. Alrighty. Oh, I should have done that first. Oh well. Dead. So now it's only taking 17. Okay. Get items, let's see. Get spikes, but deal one to myself. Uh, we'll go with that. Let's see. This, gonna be those spots, we'll do here. This is the most dangerous, so we'll do that and erase it next battle. Let's see. All effects on self, all effects on enemies. I can take both of those, so why not? Or actually, self is good because it re gets rid of curses. See, what have we got coming up? We've got Light and Cultist. That is good for getting rid of all of them. But for Rage, not so much. So we'll take this for early battle to weaken the group. Take this when they start getting too many stacked on themselves. Wait a second. This is about the one change Cultist who actually hurts me. Hmm. This is a tough one. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Oh wait, I can't. No, it's a problem. I can't physically take stuff. 
getting rid of all their berserk is more important. It is. Being able to toss this on early is pretty good too. That weak is gonna kill me. It is. I gotta do that. Okay. Ooh. Hope this does not fuck me over. Okay, let's go. You have to go down first. There are no two bits about it. Start with getting rid of that curse. Now we can actually focus on the fight. <sighs> okay, but good news is I am now largely safe. Let's see, if I do this, he definitely dies, but then I'll take 60 fucking damage. So I have to do this. And one use of removing all of yours. It's literally the best chance I have of survival. Okay, just fucking barely. Now they're going all in on all this berserk bullshit. Uh, not enough to kill him, but let's see, he won't get enough of that rage stack to kill me. Or even get past all this armor. First off, I have to cleanse them. It's more manageable, I can leave him because he won't be attacking. So he needs to die first. We are starting with this for the just mm. We're gonna start with the attacks. Damn it, so I couldn't kill him. If I had done that, I would have killed him. Well, shit on my face for that. Let's see. Get eight block. That's 26 I'm doing. Uh, they're still doing so much though. <sighs> okay. Okay. Best chance is this get one extra damage and then the to attack and still kill one of these others. Yep. Okay. That's useless item. Take the easy kill here. Okay. Now I really need stuff to heal me. Uh, I guess blood bow. I'm I'm reaching the point where I'm getting real tired of a uh, all these curses I have to take. Legendary. There's a merchant. No, so I won't be able to really sell it, sadly. So let's just ignore that. We can toss these over here because it does not matter, but we'll get another free hat. And what's this? Dagger of Vampirism. I think we have to go for this just for some healing. Which actually means the cap is less important. We need to be able to put it here. We'll still be getting the bonus from the rage on that one. Anything else I can do? Let's see, coming up next is another chosen cultist, the fucker. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is literally the best we can do for the moment. Hope for some better items in here. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. Chosen Cultist does more weakening of me, so we'll uh, swap it for that. Fuck the tome. It's unusable if we don't survive long enough. We'll take those. And we still got this for some more passive healing. Well, healing paired with attacks. So yeah. 
Uh, is there anything I could regret? I don't think so, no. Okay. Okay, Cult of Success goes down first. We start with healing that. We do... Seeing as we're not doing damage, let's just go all in on this for the rage damage. Toss these in, because they both benefit. Actually, double vampires might have been better, but oh well. We will... We'll do this... How much? You get six, you get seven. We'll do that, because I don't think we're going to have to worry about that one action shield immediately, at least. We do that so they don't duplicate. Okay. Uh, start with the free one. We will start healing up. Oh, shit. They are starting to do enough damage to uh, need to shield. I thought. Oh, pardon, that'll take me to 23. Shit, I think I have to go all out just to be able to use the good shield. Shit. Well, sucks for me. I won't even actually be able to do it. I made an even bigger mistake. I should have just triple shielded up. At least I have it back now. Okay. So he is going to try and drain me, and also poison me. Yeah, let's... we gotta start stacking the damage. We can take it slow when it's just the polar bear, but he has to die. Uh, one on the free space, one on... can't stack there, uh, that, I suppose. Actually, what's this? I get gold when taking damage. Do one on there. I can still use that shield. Oop, oop. Okay. So now passively take you out of the game. A uh, total of 25. Unblock for the haste. We are going to stop draining you, sir. Got enough energy for that. What I need more than anything else is full fucking health. See, 10, yep, that's plenty. Once again, the empty space, one over the shield. Let's go. Now you're doing 25, so we have to do one block. Let's hand. We are almost full health. After that, we can go back to an actual working strategy. Get ice out of here. There we go. One for the rage and the other for the group. Okay. So... That's still good. Let's move these over here. And the normal ass cleaver's not gonna help. And yeah. Take that. No, because we still have a vampire blade to get healed up to that. Eh. Bunch of items that are not good for the build I have. Ooh, sweet. That, and I can still get to experience, but I have to get past all these fuckers. Uh, what do I have? I have the one that cures it from self, but all of them are going to have the rage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have to live with this. At least I have a way to actually heal. How about you? You got an enchantment I can use. Low to a weapon, blocked armor, two to spikes, or regen to ring. Uh, 
uh, one regenerative return is better than nothing. Give it to me, Badger Daddy, as I take on these cultists. Gosh, there are a lot of you fuckers. Uh, but first round, I'm going to do 16. It's uh, 32, 33. Let's see, plus 437. So first turn has to be this. That's the one for combat. Yeah, this was definitely a mistake. Oh well. I will have to live with it, and uh, we'll try to kill this guy first. Because if he gets rage next turn, that'll make it easier to take him out. Oh, I should have gone all in on the damage knife. Okay, sweet. So he is doing that. So this boosts all that. Kill. Damn it. I don't want to go all in on killing him, but uh, don't have too much choice. I'm going to have to shield. This is, a, once again, another for fighting chance purposes only. Nope. Oh, I guess we're starting that floor over. Okay. Are, so we're gonna have to once again go through these annoying fucks. Starting with getting rid of... Why won't you let me use this? God damn it. One sec. Let's see if reloading that will fix it. Okay. Just a weird quirk about saves sometimes. Okay. Let's just do all that and see if that just fixes it. No, no, it is, it is broken when you do that. Well, shit. But absolute bullshit. Okay. I guess we are going to have to reload this and just ditch the eye for, uh, just no choice, but the game is broken on that. Okay. Well, it wasn't going to benefit me this fight anyway, so it's not a major loss. Let's see, meanwhile, defenses are 16, 25, 29. So we'll do that, which is perfect, 29, just get some damage on him. Can't even remember how I did this fight. Okay, so... don't think this is enough to kill you, but uh, if I did the rage, I've got 10, 22, 34, 34, 34, comes to 40. So I could only do 40. Uh, 44 counting the damage from that. So no matter what, I'm not going to kill anyone. Shit, on a brick again. Uh, so I have to start with that. And once again... No, we'll do that. That'll block most of it once more. The next turn I can kill him. Uh, well, I got more health than last time. Let's see... But I've been weakened to hell and back. It's not going to really kill him, so we have to do this. Uh, hate these absolute assholes. But debuff them like so. Debuff 
me see that. I should start with the guy in the back. Oh well. There. Alrighty. Okay, do this, this, fuck you there. Ah, uh, the luck dagger. Keep both these fucking potions because I know it's ahead at this point. Living rock, and hopefully it'll be fixed this time. Ditch these, take that. And I guess I'll take this. So I lose three health, but two extra energy will be. Very nice. Going after that fight again. Be useful. We'll be getting one energy from you. Hmm. <sighs> Shit. Yet again. Okay. Or to lose a shoe. No, I'm gonna have to get rid of a thorn. Get rid of the knife. Because I'm not having enough luck to really capitalize on that. Da, 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 da. So yeah, first turn against them, I'll take both these energy items and just try and take this Cult us down first turn. This time we're going to save more frequently in case more bullshit happens. Okay, so first all the energy items. You, then. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. Do that so we solve the big block. And you guys in the corner where you're useless. Shit, I forgot to do. Why? You won't let me. Must be played on item, lose 100% all status effects, and items played on or destroyed. Why are you not? God damn it. Motherfucker, that's gonna kill me. <sighs> but if I rearrange inventory this time, I'm gonna die from them, so I have to attack. Ugh, fucking. Okay, I got some healing because I killed the one guy. Can't get rid of you. Guess just the one more rage. Now I have to do this to survive. Might as well ditch that because I guess that's the one that broke with the reload. With one energy, I have to block. Every health is precious, and I don't have a vampire blade. Uh, empty spots. We've got frying pan. Hmm. Well, that is broken. Okay, so it's going to do a total of 27. Have to use this. Exchange, double up on that. And then, reuse items, 17, I'll live. There. Okay, so first we'll start with you creeping your way around, see you for extra health. Uh, let's see. No, not for the space you're giving. Not a great selection this time. No merchant in sight. So I have to take the healing there. Energy to clothing. I got one slot on there. Anything else count as clothing? Put wear an armor. Helmet and armor. Yes, adjust the torso, but I absolutely have to. 
because burn, poison, and damage are not what I need. I need uh, more chances to do everything. So there's no... Mm, but there's supposed to be a timer on there. Reloading just makes it go away. Well, because I want to keep that energy enchant. Save now, and I have to do my last try on this. So... Base damage from this is 9, 10 out of 20, 31, 36. If I use this, it'll be a total of 44. So still not enough to kill anyone unless I do this. So yeah, I will do that. We're going to start with that guy because he'll actually get buffed by all of it. I guess I did my math wrong. Or did oh, because that was one of yes, that got doubled. And you know what? We'll make the use of this shuriken. Uh, let's go with this guy. It's, I'm not gonna get enough to kill him. Oh well. Uh, and they are not gonna hurt me more than sixteen. They are gonna fucking curse me, so I gotta remember to cleanse myself at the end. It's time for we're gonna start with cleansing them. Still a lot of fucking let's see, all together. Let's see, 15, 30, 30, 46, 46, 46. 55, 63. So I have to use this to have enough to get blocking in. So I cannot take that. And that's only counting the. F not even with the rage. Fuck these guys, okay. God damn it. Okay, so there's only one guy now. Do this. Take you out. Take you out. Okay. So we can take out... I think all three. But we'll start with this one to be safe. Okay, yep. So... We start on the two big guys. Then we cleanse, finish him off. Now we're getting no curses this battle. Ooh, and I get three more spaces, so we'll do that for that. Let's see, let's see, let's see, we will... Also do the two there, so we can get that moved slightly over. Six to still six. So yeah, definitely a good choice there. Actually, do that. Uh, actually, do that. Move all the cleavers over. Now we got more room for future cleaver shenanigans. I uh, wish I saw the other rows of thorns, but oh well. Do that. So those all get a boost, being the only definitely used items. Need stuff to actually heal me, please. Uh, that's really risky. Twelve all's good. I'll put it there. Ugh. And that uh totem is starting to get real tricky to use. Okay. So next up is a bunch of valuables. Certainly not going back to him at this point. And which I need a key. Awesome. And more cultists ahead. So, another save scum right before, because I really don't want to lose just for nothing. First guy has to be him if possible, so... 
let's see, we start with 17, 26, 39, 39, 47, 47, 55. Have to use that. There we go, I'm just good. We do this, that, the other thing, pop. Okay, and then next turn I should be able to double slap him for taking him out completely. Okay, so no rages yet. Let's try and take that guy up the picture. Damn it. Uh, well, I forgot the weakening happened. Fuck it, I gotta commit. Because I'm only gonna take 10, either 14 or 16. Either doesn't matter. Oh, wait, no, that's not damage just because more weakened. Uh, now I can myself now, save the other for curses at the end, go all in on this fucker. And, uh, just one more rage, yep. Okay, start with him to make sure we can. Perfect, cleanse self, kill you. Okay. Now we put totem there. Not taking you until I can actually get rid of you again. Only matters for hazards. We are luck ring. Please. Please be lucky. Uh, in fact, we'll put luck items together. Bonsai gives mana. Thugga, we will start hoping and praying we can actually get a mana item to use. We'll take that. For the rage. Fuck, <laughs> is this little... Uh, oh well. Yes, that is the best we can do. Known event. Take another emerald. What's this? Additional spikes for every. Hmm. Now I shouldn't need to save for this. I've got plenty of practice getting just the two on the side. Either of those would work, but more defense is good. If you would ever stop bouncing. There we go. Okay, so what I do is very simple. I kill the bat. I mean, I move the there. Let's see. Yep, yep. Edgekin and Diagonal gets one. Hmm. Which means I can I'll only lose out on one damage. Which actually I'll gain right back with Jack Cleaver, so that's fine. That's beautiful, actually. Then we'll move you there. No, nope. there. There we go. So we're getting even more block. Good, good, good. Compared to that. So yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. House looks like a hat. That's a little weird. Okay, Mr. Frog Seller, what do we have? We have... Uh, I can't make use of this, because I uh, really need armor. Ooh, we got this shield. Eight block. Fine. I guess I'm doing that, just so I can see. Or auto block on defense. But it takes that energy to flip, so no. Let's see Regen might be what we have to get. Let's see. Next floor is the boss. There's a bunch of minions who does stuff. We need that. Getting more gold does not matter. In fact, we can sell this. Put that there. Thinking regen is most important. Can't go back and chant either of those. Oh yeah, the regen is super important. Wish I could buy a key from you though. Yeah, we'll 
leave it like this. Do one more fight. Against back here, better because there are no cultists. So go here and we'll save. Actually, first, if we're going that fight, what was this again? Right. Give you health and you'll give me a potion. Uh, that would actually kill me right now. That absolutely end up dooming me. So we will start with a little bit of rage. Pop, pop. Go. And now it's just fight down to me and him. Well, I did this wrong. Absolutely did this wrong. Well, none of these are being used, so we'll do that. And now it's just a matter of lasting long enough to get as much regen as I can bring out of that. So I think we're just going to go all in on that to boost rage. I mean, this is only going to last for another three turns, so that's fine. I might have to start being a bit more uh, selective with my uh, actions now. Uh, ice cube out. So now you're going to do 25. I still have more than enough defense. Now you're doing 18 all by yourself. So I guess I'll uh, just do that for my last actions. Then a uh, pure defense for the last turn. So I, uh, I'm at 25 health instead of, what did I start with, like 13, 14? Yeah. Get, get items, let's start with you. I can place you there. I'm gonna start there, just for the room. You've got, yes, that will save my ass. Even more block is great. So total of six from you. Total of six for one less space. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep the boots. We are just stacking with armor to get through the final boss here. Magic's gonna do fucking nothing for me. But, uh... Yeah. yeah, that's the best we can do. We've got one use of cleansing status effects from the enemies. Alrighty, uh, any other usable enchantments, good smith? Don't have any other... do I? No. Okay, I could try to toss some burn on them. Let's see, we've got... do one on there, can't on down there. To, I could just toss all three on the heart clear. Because I mean, getting a rage is pretty expensive. How much was the fire again? 15? Yeah, I got the money for it. This uh, heart gonna burn. go, total 6, and any cleavers gonna heal me on a on a nonsense kill. Well, not great for this coming battle, but it'll do. Let me make sure. Nothing else make great use of? No. Most likely thing is that. Mm-hmm. No, because I do so much more damage than that. Yeah, because I just don't have use for this mana stuff yet. Sell so that. The shift closer to those to make it easier to remember. Might as well sell the other three. I will take... Actually... That... Once I've got a good amount of rage, I can use damage knives on the uh, summons. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably going to be the best I can do. But you 
there for queen. No, because that gives me one less block there. Okay, let's do our best. Uh, but hey, two hours. I got the uh, prediction time pretty spot on. Let's save right there. Just old superstition. Okay, but we're gonna have to try and speed through her, because this ice is gonna really start hurting as soon as her summons come in. Uh, start with, yeah, start with you, that, you. Okay, and now I can double up. And you can toss fucking poison at me. Oh, there's only one item I can use down here, and it's the cleansing bomb. If I don't take it, I take 10. So we'll do that. And I'll only end up getting, what, two poison later on when that actually comes into play. Now we do this. All in. Dagger. Let's see, 28 will knock it down to 27, 19. Do it so their turn is wasted by having to take that damage. I'll only get one poison if I use item that road. Perfect. Okay, so with six, I'm gonna do ten vampirism, which isn't gonna heal them. I don't think, unless it changed in the update. By doing that, I got a whole bunch of extra damage. We save the last damage knife for rage to be enough to kill one of these fuckers. Mm. Even if rage stacks with that, it won't matter. Just keep stacking it higher and higher. Oh, and now she's just gonna straight up die. Perfect. Uh, then I'll just, uh, nope, for good measure. Hit! Alrighty. Okay, I've done it. The loot box again. Freaking uh, spice items striking energy or glass bottle. Can energy without. Uh, I'm not liking how many of these relics now just give energy but for different costs. Get energy. I'm starting to get another item. I suppose I'll take the get another item one again. I have to ditch an item now for the meditation idol. Yeah, that's only giving me four. We'll toss it down here. Actually, Toss it there so we can start just working our way slowly over. Keep this. Perfection. Now time to go to endless mode and see how many floors we can clear with another two hours. Let's see. <clears throat> I think we went the crypt last time, so we'll go with the bramble. Alrighty, so mystery room, game show guy. So none of these are really speaking to me. This would be nice, but that's in the danger zone. And uh, let's see. Two, four, six. So this is the last safe roll. Three. Sure. All I got was a catapult I'm not even taking with me, so you know, keep it. No, 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 I insist you fucking, uh, it's going up against the tough bird. Double green snails, double hermit crabs. 
Uh, snails first, because enchanter. Total 18, don't have to worry. Pop, pop, pop. And actually, first. Ooh, I. I traded one dagger for a different dagger that I'm probably not gonna keep. But uh, I appreciate the attempt, sir. Uh, yeah, now it's just going through the motions. Go, now I've got to put him somewhere else. There, ooh. I wonder if this stacks. If I start getting double damage? Sorry, double dodge? Actually, I'm itching that regardless. Might as well take it to check. Key. Actually, no. Go for that. More spikes to stack. Not gonna have use for that for a while. It's only for adjacent weapons. Let's do that. Uh, damn, fights probably aren't gonna last that long, but whatever. Extra damage is extra damage. Actually, we'll do. This is one I'm definitely going to want to use every round. Uh, yeah, that is good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought uh, that particular ring will be replaced as soon as possible with a better one, but might as well keep it for now. I don't think I have any more Council's clothing. Yeah, because those are helmets. Only got that. If I run into the uh, older badge that gives me another slot, that would be good. There are no more event spots. How much is it again? For energy. Oh, no, that's clothing. Never mind. Uh, regen to a ring or burn to a weapon. Uh, let's get a regen on a ring. We're going to go put luck because we're definitely keeping that. Uh, we'll do valuables after this guy. That, pop that. They don't have enough to get past my defense. Oh wait, I forgot the oh well. That, that, knife in the back. Now you're gonna die. Wee fire. Uh, let's see, what's left? Got that spot. Those don't have to stay up top, I just like doing that. We've got poison ivy. It's poison when attacked, but does not say when damaged. Hmm. That's interesting. No, that's not worth trying to work in. Uh, we got hand axe. Hand axe coordination. <laughs> if I put both the battle rings in, I'll be able to get two extra, it's only two extra per round, no. In fact, we're gonna get rid of that. We're not gonna take poison. Do... One too far, there we are. We will take that, just one extra damage there. Actually... That is currently more useful. Da -da -da. Yeah, nothing else worth taking. Raid the treasure. We've got. Well. I got rid of the ring because I didn't see a use for it. We're going to do that. Keep this so we can get that other curse off our ass. Yes. Alright, floor left. Going down. Okay, we got a fence out here, get food. What's this one? Oh, right. Uh, get energy, get spike for every nearby rose. 
I'll probably come back here later, because I'm about to get some more space. Actually, wait a second. If I... If I give him food, I'll get a cleaver. I will keep you in mind. I hope I can come back to you. Let's see. I'll take on this guy first, because this merchant might actually have food. Let's see. Yeah, they're not gonna kill me this turn. So we do this, do this, that. Oh, look at that. More than a, what, 70? So he is already dead. And there. Ah, oh, I should have... I should have done the knife before that last cleaver, because all well, that cleaver gets strong with every cleaver kill. Ah well, uh, let's see. Yeah, we do the one extra cleaver there. Pop, pop. Aha! Ah, and I keep forgetting the dagger. I should just get for the dagger. I don't remember often enough. get rid of him soon. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, first we're gonna do that. So we still have one. Keep the fire, or three... Six poison gets one person, or three... Both are free, we're gonna do fire. Fire will stack that one cleaver. Time to get rid of the shiv. Sorry to see you go. Do that. We get rid of this little lamp. But now we're actually using this mana we have. I'm probably going to sell both the relics because I just don't have the space for a lot of consumables. Sad, but it's true. Luckily, Mr. Merchant Man here to take first. We'll keep that for now. We're going to start with. We start with the loot box. Hmm. It certainly looks like items I already got rid of, sir. Yeah, we will... We don't have a lot to sell right now. I'm gonna keep both the dodge masks for the moment. So I can still move them around to make space for this. But yeah, this floor, we definitely have to sell that other relic. Right now, though, food. Wait, I forgot to check. Did he have food? No, no, he didn't. Okay, so next fight after them, because that little healing will help. Or the one sable. We'll go for the one sable. I'm pretty sure one of those chests of valuables is an enemy. Oh, let's see, it's 36. Uh, yeah, I can. I don't want to take that. That's the thing. I don't want to. We'll just start stacking that fire. Okay. Only 24. More than enough block. Take that, sir. I don't need a fucking key. Get out of here. And the spade cleaver ends it. One more heal from that. Okay, now it's time to put the totem there. Put that up for next time. Actually, we'll start with that one. Sure, expendable. Ooh, fly. What's this? Legendary? I really don't want to make the room for that. Sad, but it's true. Yeah, it is a good thing we did uh, not finish this yet. Okay, I can go one more combat. 
uh, two, maybe three combats even, depending on the stuff I find. Let's see, up next is a purple snail. We'll clear him. That should be another easy before the boss floor. Eh, I mean, maybe not easy. But easy probably wasn't the right term, but you know, not horrific. Uh, but 18, I can survive that damage. Just focus on attacking. All right, I forgot to stack burns. Oh, you're going to try and uh, summon some buddies, are you? Oh, don't you worry, no. You will not be surviving long enough. And uh, gave your buddy a good lesson for why not to stick around. Okay, we've got here, and that's when it starts getting tricky. But, you know, another shoe hat. I'm not going to complain. I'm thinking we can still optimize this a bit. We'll toss you like that. We'll toss you guys there. Temporarily get you out as we move all this over. Like so. Because after the next combat, you can go over here. That does not matter. Put roses together. Has to be in the top row. So you know what? We keep it like that. So it still works. Clear it on myself or 12 to all enemies. Clear myself. Okay, so. Disable my crow puck. End it there. Hmm. Another spin to win something. We got a glove. We got. I believe that deck gives gold on a kill. Shuriken, curse. Nothing really speaking to me, so no. I, wait, does this count as food? It's a consumable. Let's go see. I think it was this guy who wants food to give me a cleaver. Another cleaver would be nice. It does. And I got another King Cleaver. Okay. So, optimal place for this. Optimal place for this. Put you there, put you here, put this here. That affects all. We should toss you here. Because that doesn't do a lot, it's more for its effect. Oh, but the six burn, right. That's boosting everything. I think that has to take the stay central. So we'll toss I hit this, activates that, 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 which activates this, which activates that, 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 okay. I can't do a full, like, just rolling cycle yet, but that should be good, right? Not seeing... Actually, I might be able to come back to him. Is it? No, it's a one-off. Oh well. Uh, what were you again? Right. You had a bunch of stuff. That shuriken might be good. I could have tried to get that gut. Well, I might have gotten a different cleaver if I did that. Oh well. Let's see. I think... Go for these enemies. I might get enough experience for a level up, and then I can start picking up these items. And if not... You know, healing. So yeah, let's do that. We'll save. More save scumming. Okay, so first one to die has to be these guys, because they do double attacks, but also fire. First round, they're going to do a total of 24, 35, which I have enough for. 
absolutely have enough. So one rage and perfect. Oh wait. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so first we finish you off. Now it's only 23 total. It's not gonna kill him, but you know. Make it so he dies next time. Uh, we will toss fire. Yeah, fire on the roses. In case the one excess starts on him, then that. Then. There. No damage this round. Ah, cleaver builds are just so fun. So let's see what spaces are left. Uh, right, I forgot I have to keep this in this row. So I'll do that. Put him up here. I'm gonna do that. So now all those get the boost. My obsession with keeping like items together is gonna kill me one day. But not today. <laughs> Let's see. So this give that gives eight. That would give six, which is the exact same as the boots without uh have to move all that over. Uh, next battle will definitely give me a level up though. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good because this shit ring is uh inferior to this build. Get a little bit of heal. Let's go take on these guys. Okay, so Sable goes first because he, I mean, he's got the one dodge, slightly less, but he does more attacks. Pop, 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 you, oh wait, 24, 30, 43? So I'll only take one damage, sure. I'll take that. And I still have one dodge, sweet. So, yeah. Your uh, crow buddy is gonna heal you, but it's not gonna be enough. It's gonna, he healed you for less than the fire damage. Oh, this is just gonna be overkill. There we go. Pop. And uh, you are dead, sir. You are already dead. There we go. Level up. So, best places for it. Best places. Okay. Okay. think. Between that, I can move that over. Freeze up space around those. Or I can do up there. Which I'll leave space to move these guys around some more. Hmm. Okay, I'll do this. For the time being, I'll keep that there. Uh, this ring is legendary. So I... shit. Means I can't sell the relic, so I'll have to buy time till the next floor I can. Uh, none of these other ones are really gonna help. I guess I'll keep this in case one of those chests is locked. Uh, let's see. What items can I get from you? Yeah, this was the nothing great. Wait, no. Item here. Uh, more not great stuff. Heal for eight, but I'm only hurt for one going to the boss fight. 
Actually, no matter why, I should have gone to this merchant first to sell the legendary. That is useless to me. Let's see. Can I come back for a shuriken? With the stuff in here is shit. Uh, I have the ghost gem. Hmm. It only matters with open stuff. Yeah, that's really bad with what I've got. But it's a rare item I can sell. The next turn I just swap those. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Anything worth replacing my stuff? That's five. As opposed to this, which does give me some extra damage in a total of got a 8, 10, 12 block. But for two extra actions. Does this guy have actions? Come on, do you give me energy? No. So yeah, that does wasting time just thinking about. Okay, so can't do any more on shields. I could add more burns to a weapon. What have I got? Toss them on both of the kings. Yeah, I think the kings are definitely here to stay, as well as the heart. That might be worth getting rid of. Let's see. Oh, not that one. That's already got it, so I think I'll just put two on these king ones. Is this a... Uh, not have any slots. Yeah, that's uh, really all I can do. Burnt a weapon. The kings are gonna be the uh, the sort that burned down a village for defying him, I suppose. You know what? That's the sort of king I need in a cleaver. Okay, once again, save here for luck. Now, into the boss. Okay, you are the one who gets more rage than every time you take damage. I'm just gonna be rough with this build, but... Let's see. I do this. Okay, so cleavers only really count for one. That's good. I've got more than enough block for now. I don't have to use any of my shields. That may very well change. Let's see. Okay, so it only counts for one successful attack. Still have more than enough block for Earth. About 33. I'll do that. This and the other. Now I might have to start using uh, actions for blocks. So with three, he'll start doing 20, 44. And I'll only take two damage, so yeah. Do your worst, chicken man, I am not afraid. Because uh, this turn is the turn you die. Uh, first do that. What have we got? We've got every five item use deals five to everyone. Can't find any more. They're legendary, but get... Hmm. Oh, I gotta use energy to do this. But just put a sleep on everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Passive energy. No, because uh, the king is rare, which, and I want the queen, which does diagonals, which is also rare, minimum, possibly legendary, so I guess belt of knives. Because uh, that's a lot of item usage there. Yeah, we ditch that. Do this. See, the six is starting to be kind of superfluous. Let's see, what areas are left? So I th 
that. Uh, key there. This. No, wait. This has already been there. Uh, there then. I've only got a few more times I can do that. I guess I'll ditch those. And where I can put that? No. Put that shit back there. Do this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give up on spikes. It was nice, but it's just not gonna stack up well enough going into this. Especially because there's at least one boss where if they take damage, they get something. Uh, yeah, five max health. I wish it healed me with that, but whatever. Oh wait, it does. My math is just bad. Uh, another breastplate. No. <sighs> this would be great if I could get enough money to stack with two energy. That would help make up for the, all the armor I'd be losing by trading out the breastplate. But I'm not in the middle of a floor with one, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just not. Uh, deep cave. Oh. Michael? Uh, I cannot hear you. I'm not sure how long you've been here. Oh, I've just been on you. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want to chat while I'm doing this, feel free. I still got, what is it, hour and a half for my four-hour goal. It's a... No worries, no worries. You're doing so great, just... <laughs> uh, I also have no idea if I got the audio correct for uh, you being there, which is one of the reasons I said, hey guys, come on in. So low-key test I that. Mean... I literally just woke up. Ah. After. So, yeah, I just saw Discord was on. It's like, what the hell is Nick doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, just double streaming here in Twitch. So, uh, don't say anything that will break to us, please. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. mm. I'm so tempted, but nah, I'm gonna do that to you. Uh. Uh, but, yeah, if you're fine with just chilling quiet. I'm not going to force you to talk. But if you want to try and convince me to let something spice you out. Uh, I mean, I can, but... <laughs> you know what? Give me give me ten minutes. I'm going to go, you know, shower, wake up. Oh, fair enough. Let's see. Well, for here, that's going to be easy fight, but there is a merchant right fucking there. Yeah, I'm not hurting for gold. We'll do this fight first. We got... Oh yeah, this is why I don't typically come to the brain. These guys fucking suck. But... 37, I can handle the first round for sure. Just go all out on the big guy. Then... Double slap that ass. I mean, probably should have done a little block. Oh well. Okay, pop, pop. Okay, and then... Uh, I should be able to knock him out now. And next turn he gets burned, and then just... start attacking this goddamn rabbit. Fish. Uh, haste is not good right now, so boom. And win. So now I have to. I guess I can put him here. Let's see, passive block every turn, but it's only one. Let's 
Is this heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. So no, definitely not making use of that. We're gonna ditch one, not super usable. We'll take the extra energy and the poison. Looking good. What's this event we got? This guy offering four items. I don't, well, yeah, four I don't care about. One I'm not risking for. And this event is rare item for a curse. No, thank you. Forge man, what do you have? Ooh, another rage. Okay. But I've got to check which of these still have the slot. We got Jack Cleaver. Yep. And the Gold Cleaver. Okay, one for Jack. Uh, next boss, that fucker. Ugh. Merchant man, come take my rare items. See, so yeah, that's not gonna be helping me anymore. Normal ass clip. I'm fucking floor 13, dude. Step up your game. Let's see. I can take disgusting food for this next fight. Sell the ghost gem that's doing nothing. Actually. We'll save that for the next floor. And yes, perfect. And what was you were? Yeah, you were the shitty one. You have the game show, so no chest. You have another helmet I don't need. Destroy a rose. Hmm. Nothing great. The double dodge is pretty good. I'm holding on to that for the luck. I actually haven't had to use the wall buckler in a while. Hmm. We will hold on to it. Yeah, this is only giving three don't damage total, so that's a safe sell. Go take that disgusting food that gives energy. It's uh, good to have you while you lasted, but now I've got to go absolute sicko mode over here. God, people keep adding me. Ugh. There we go. Right, that's all good then. Okay, we've got, we got two merchants back to back. I'm not liking the start of this floor. Okay. Oh, I guess let's see what they have first. We've got a bunch of cursing. We've got two of these poultices. I'm really not liking what this floor is going to be. Uh, hmm. Okay, and your uh, neighbor across the street, your competitor rather. Uh, more not great. Hmm. Gold and energy? Nope. Nope, that is uh, pretty useless to me. I'm the choice of either gold or health. We will save that until I need either. Okay, so I'm not going to kill anyone quickly. So start with the lowest health first. Let's go all in on all these extra energy. Mm -mm -mm. Poison you all. Okay. Pop. Boom. Okay, slime, we're gonna put you guys. Hmm. Put you right here. An energy to take care of that. Ooh, now you guys are really bringing... You are stepping up the damage now. Uh, 47. 77? Ooh, boy, you guys suddenly hate me. Do that. Guess we have to do that. But as soon as I get take care of your buddy in the back, I should be fine. 
let's see. This will be the safest. Okay, so. That's dead now. A total of 45. There we go. Okay. This will mean a lot to clear away. But if I'm correct, I only need one action for even this many. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, keep going lowest common denominator, especially because he's got frickin' regen. Gonna knock that shit out of here. That is one down, other to go. All this rage is just doing things to me and by to me I mean to you there we go uh, a bunch of stuff that is gonna be useless uh, I, I guess um, of these the spike crown is the best if I have to take it Sure. Let's so move these here. Actually, look at items like so. Status effects of enemy cleared. I'll have to try and save that. Yeah, that's everything of use there. What have we got? Rabbit armadillo and a crossbowman. Or crossbowman up there. A shadow. Because now's the best time to take this extra health, because I'm gonna need it. I think one of these guys had a healing item. Here we are, at less than 50. We'll take one for now. Let's see. Uh, might as well take this. Get a good combo going, that'll really deal some damage. See this rabbit has to go first because he tends to get multi-attack. This round though, 46, 50, 65. Gonna have to block. Still gonna take some, unfortunately. Jeez, you are pulling out all the goddamn stops today. Uh so only the first one matters. 28. 358. Jeez, it's not giving me a chance to rest here. Let's see if I'm below 50. So that. There we go. Two more dodge. The only one lasts. Let's see. Touch is going to be affected on him. Then it's only 45. So I can actually start actually attacking. Here we go. Uh, what's it doing? 16 inch? We will wait another turn on that. Okay, no more dodges left. First two will hurt me, and two dodges will make me take nothing. This does 40, 53. So we'll do. Yeah, we'll do that. hour three but I'm doing okay could be better uh, but let's see now I've reached the point where they can't really hurt me so let's just start going all out weakest first And 
and there we are. So I can get another spade. Uh, do I shield back to the shields? Like that. I guess I can take another pair of shoes. It's a four block. Hmm. I do this. I'm not going to sell that, but I'm keeping the three man for safety. I am selling this. Or actually, hmm. No, because all these cleavers definitely do more than 16, so it would take too many turns. Nothing else worth making room for. What event are you? Nope. Not taking a curse at this point. Spin. We've got. The shield's good, but this is another free range everything thing. Passive luck gain would be nice. Hmm. I could replace the mana stone. Could absolutely take the mana stone out of here. I don't trust. I will come back to you, sir. Uh, let's see if we experience there. Uh, Living Shadow will be easier, so start him. I said that, and then see he has thousands of health, okay. Okay, uh, just gotta get this rolling and hope. Take a bit for him to actually get past my armor, but it's uh, not going to take as long as I'd like. Come on, just a few more turns. If you would just kindly die, oh sweet specter of death. Okay. Uh. Like an evil hand, I suppose. Running out of items I can use. Oof. We'll toss you for the shuriken of luck. I, I need to stop holding it. I'm going to get something worth the mana. It is not happening. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, ooh, we got a forge. To a structure, block to shield, block to armor. I can only really use poison to weapon. That's not going to stack well with the number of ones I can put out. I can only put out one. That's not even worth it. Uh, okay, uh, Merchant Men, legendary item for you. You can just uh, free up my inventory. Thank you, sir. Let's see, this does energy, but turns mana. Burn to everyone. Hmm. No, no, I need a uh, need energy for these guys. Hey, uh, clear status effects on me, that is worth it. Along with this other healing item. Is there anything worth coming back to for you later? No. You had all the shit I do not need. Let's see. Also, three floors, so next floor is a boss. I'm pretty decently stacked. I think I can afford without doing another attack. That experience isn't gonna help. Oh wait, no, that's the curse, guys. So yeah, we just uh jump to the boss level. Oh, safety save, and then. So, you have the spikes, we are going to just uh, take those off of you, get the fuck out of here with the bullshit, thank you. And, uh, yeah, now we're just going to start stacking this rage. This are almost 4,000 health. Ugh. Okay, almost 
almost 50 damage. We actually need to start a block there. But otherwise, fuck you. <laughs> Buddy. All my items doing an extra 14 damage per hit. This may take a while, but you are definitely going down. Alrighty. Ah, uh, the sweet, sweet sounds of multi-hit combos. Let's see. Need to actually get some more blocks in there. Ah. Man, this isn't even the craziest cleaver build I have seen. I got a single queen cleaver. This could be so much worse. Common item to duplicate. Hmm. This already has rage on it. That duplicates. Hmm. Uh, that's a useless one. This is... Gives me extra energy if I have open spaces. No. I guess we are taking the coral. Uh, I think we'll start with just duplicating the lucky stars a few times. Let's see. Any other good common? Luck ring? The luck ring with regen. No, so we are uh, duplicating this first. This just adds normal luck, not great luck, so this will be the first to go. Then I'll start focusing on stars so I can just one battle boost my luck massively. Oh boy, this is going to take patience. I don't know if I have any... Oh, hey. But I can also use this key now. Uh, common rewards useful. So rare. Da, 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 da. It's two extra block for everything this gives. Also two extra block, but also weapons. So... How is this worse than the common version? I mean, true, this only gives two block for base, but I mean, plus one to damage just makes that much more useful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that armor as is. It's, uh, that might be a complaint to bring the devs, just because it's not great. Then next is... Frozen Heart, yeah. Okay, so... Two Chest of Valuables off the bat. Frame of Event. Cultist and Defender. Definitely avoiding that. I don't even think I can get to that enemy and then back to the hearts before it runs out. A uh, rare item of the same type. Okay, that's good. What is... It's uncommon, so I'd get rare. But that's got good burn. And both the kings have burn too, yeah. Well, I think what I'll do is another case of save scum. Because I think the queen cleaver is legendary. Okay, moment of the truth. Fish? No. Absolutely not. Give me another cleaver. Let's see. Oh yeah, continue. I will do this till you give me a random cleaver, sir. You underestimate how much free time I have. Floating sword? No. If the next one is not any sort of cleaver, I think I'm going to give up on doing those. Uh, maybe try a different item I have. Something I'm kind of met on. Maybe a helmet? Come on. Nope, certainly not a cleaver, and that costs gold, I believe. In our case, it's certainly far too big to worry about. Alright, something else. We've got... 
Uh, I should look without being in that choice menu. We've got accessory. Might be worth it. This could come up as glove or armor. Armor or footwear. A rare to legendary accessory is probably worth it. There aren't a lot of big ones. Relics are not a safe choice. Okay. The armor is definitely not a choice because all of these are armor except the shield. So I suppose. I suppose I'll go for the Shuriken Forge. Because accessories is a far more limited category. And I mean, it is free. To uh, discover a secret passage, cool. Hmm. Where could I make use of that? I suppose I can skip this fight here. If I do get to choose it, hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if I have to be next to it. I've never successfully used the shortcut map. Don't. How is this? That's just not working. I've never seen that item correctly used. Well, we have to go after these guys, so might as well bite the bullet. Let's see, how does this work at, when combat ends? So yeah. So first we duplicate the Ring of Regen. Let's see, 23, I can handle 23. like so. Then an extra boom, 34, can also take that. Yep. Eight, yeah, I can handle eight block. This is all across the row. All across the row. It'd suck losing access to those, but it is a lot safer than losing armor. Uh, shit, let's see. Let's do a total of 43, so only one total damage, but also 20 poison. Which I can cure. Yeah, we won't worry about the poison, because I will just immediately get rid of it. all these attacks. Now I clear, and I'll have to start building up my uh, rage again. But that is worth not taking frickin' 20 poison t damage. God damn. Okay, yeah, it was really worth taking uh, that item. Gonna have to use it twice. Yeah, you need Extra damage for items, good to start. Alrighty, right about the three hour mark. Got another, uh, let's see, ends at stage nine. So we're almost down to the fifth boss. And you're still trying to throw poison at me, you goddamn asshole. there. We have two chests. I have a decent chance of finding something that'll heal. 
I'll risk one round. Just one. There we go. Okay. I am to duplicate. We are doing the ring of regen. Get items. So. That goes, but we're going to save it for the moment. It's just aren't going great in terms of items. Uh, hmm. It's only giving me six. Do this, keep that. I can only use this in combat. Oh wait, I don't have to do this, because I have the dice. Both of those curses are now gone forever. Thank goodness. Uh, a one energy drink, yeah. I mean, these give me two, but uh, I am starting to feel the burn. Yeah, we're gonna... Next battle, you will use this, duplicate another ring, might have to use up one of these in the next combat, so that'll free up another space for four rings. Yes, good. Actually, what do we have here? We have cultists. Cultists. Hmm. I think yes. We'll go after them, in which case means cool drink, do that, we use up this, uh, this might be a stupid decision, it's only three, I'll live with it, I will, if I make a mistake, I shall live with it, uh, spin a wheel, we got the three structure mana, Interesting. Eh. Yeah. No, cleavers do tend to take up a lot of space. Truly a lot of space. Okay, you guys are just coming out pretty big. Hitting me with 50, 75. I might end up having to uh, save scum this. Uh, but let's start with that. I get the Mana Stone Bow of all the worst items to give me. Shit. Well, so we take this to start, and we wish I had gotten something with a weakened damage at any point. Alright, we are going to do this, that. <clears throat> uh, we are going to start King Cleavering the shit out of you. And that. If we survive, we'll have decent luck. Okay. You motherfucker. 17! God damn. Yeah, no, I'm not surviving this fight. Hubris tried to best me. And I am a. Uh, can you know? just be an absolute scum. Go back and have to redo a fight, but better than that fucking nightmare. It's this, which still no idea what it does. Or how it works. Uh, I believe there's a merchant over there. We will hold on to it for now. Okay, so you have to die first. All these turns start going, I'm just gonna pop open another room temperature run.
Stay hydrated. It's hot as fuck out there. Uh, we tossed on there. Because we're going to live without some of those for a bit. He's dead. Good enough. Right, I forgot the poison. We'll accept this poison first at this point. Uh, hey, we'll come out of this fight with one more use of the uh, cure self. Right, this is for self, yep. I should have done my attacks first. Ugh. Made a mistake I didn't do last time. Now it's just going to draw on further. But I'm below half health, so I can use that up. No, I might be able to do this next, perhaps. Oh, there we go. Okay, so item to duplicate was the ring. Because, uh, dang it, it doesn't come with a regen. I should have checked that last time, but at least I know now. Uh, but, ooh, these are better items. Get weak! Ooh, this is a good one to keep for sure. It is gonna suck to have these pop up in a later fight, but you know, being able to grant weak to an enemy, I think that's worth it. Now the question is what to get rid of. Uh... I guess that. It's weak on this, because that triggers this, which triggers this, which triggers it back, which triggers that. So yeah. That'll start stacking weak pretty well. God, I'm still pretty hurt that this does not replicate the region. That would have been great. Uh, but you win some, you lose some. Next combat, we'll use that. Not hurting so bad, I need the region. Sorry, the regen fish. Okay. So first thing we do, we go to the merchant and sell this treasure map, because I don't know how to fucking use it. Uh, what have you got? You got a guarding band. Get haste when I take damage. That's actually pretty good, especially combined with these things that take damage, I get a couple dodges. You're, uh, I mean, you'd be great if I had the space for you. Yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna slowly, surely get some more rings of luck. Uh, let's see. What items do you have this time? We've got the seasoning, adjutant consumables start giving healing. Poisoning arrow, structure arrow, what's this again? I know there's a spot. This is one thing they need to fix. The hitboxes for items on this wheel does not always... I think it's whatever this item is covering it. Ah oh well. We are not going to risk that. We are going to do some more safe stunning magic. Items are not decided until you come here. Same goes for the enchants. Energy for clothing is useless. Slow to enemy. Three damage. Nope. We're gonna save scum and try to get an actual usable enchantment. So we are we are at the point where things are starting to get really fucky wucky with the enemies. Ooh. Yo. I can say fucky wucky on Twitch. I can swear, yeah. I think I don't can't describe the act of a uh, figurative fucky wucky. Mm, you can't put your dingleberry in a well. <laughs> that might be pushing it. If only because I've seen some uses of wahoo. But correct. <laughs> I know there are some, uh, if you've got the rating on, you can show some tasteful nudity. Not like full on 
18 plus games, but uh, that tarot game I played yesterday had some <clears throat> visuals I had to skip past to be safe. But I have been, to but I have been told that those are fine because uh, it's auto. That rating is auto turned on when I play the game, so long as I tell the stream I'm playing that game. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. Anyway, I'm awake now. Are you <laughs> winning, son? Uh, I mean, I already passed the bare minimum. The challenges only have to go for uh, nine floors, and I just noticed that uh, the floor number is actually not visible with the way I set it up. So let me do a quick change on that. There we go. Come on. No, stop. There. That's not perfect because it's got a gap, but, you know... I want people to see how far I'm going and how rich I am. But yeah, it's, uh, I actually, uh, you missed me die to a fight, because I let Hubris take me and go after a optional one. I mean, fair enough, that's something I would do. Yeah. And yet, you and the party have, a uh, kind of taken your times for a necessary fight as well. It should not have taken, like, three sessions just to go through all of that. <laughs> Correct. It should not have. Uh, but you guys try to talk to some of the ogres you should not have. The, uh, the ones on the farm are and definitely the less sensible ones. Yeah, and then we fought the ogres we should have talked to. Yeah. <clears throat> Or at least waited until you were, you know, in front of one of the spellcasters you want really dead. Let's see. But, I mean, it's worked out in the end. You got some magic items out of it. Did we? I mean, yeah, the, uh, the two ogres in the fort that I gave the big magic items to. Oh, those, yeah. yeah. The desperately needed buffs to mm -hmm. lock in on. Uh, Nice buff for Val. I was a little surprised Val did not use the, uh, not the temp HP, the uh, buffer. Yeah, the buffer she gets with the shield. Yeah, part of me actually thinks she might have forgotten. I'll be honest. I mean, it's fair. I think we had a week break since she uh, got. The <gasps> yes, the Queen Cleaver. Okay, this is where things get really broken with cleavers. All diagonal cleavers are you? Yep. All of them? And then I have two kings, which use the ones directly next to it. And yes, they do loop. I think it's a max, like, three uses per cleaver, because it used to be an endless loop. But still. It's, uh... Let's see. Good. Yeah, it's, uh... It's really fun if you've got enough cleavers. Uh, I don't need... Well, I can swap out the new cleansing bomb. Let's see. I can toss this spade here. I want to keep that item, so I will... I guess I'll ditch the... Actually, with all these cleavers, I don't need this uh, plus two emerald anymore. So, uh, we'll keep the heal myself. Oh, and I also have this item. It enchants every weapon in the row, as you can see, with weakness. A creature that is weakened deals a one less damage. And I've got this loop. Yep. These guys get minimum two uses each, which means four free weak per one use of this one King Cleaver. Ooh. I think the energy... With the current build I have, I get at most six, but that's still three uses of every cleaver, minimum. Okay, I guess you just win now. Uh, no, some enemies start getting a lot of health where that's not enough. I really need more of the space to get bigger, crazier things. Uh, we will hold off on... If I do this, I can get three... Yes. 
Yes, this is starting to get uh, real crazy. It'll only get worse from here. Uh, one item I have duplicates a common item, and I'm duplicating the rings that give me luck. And luck determines the RNG. Higher your luck, the rarer the item you can find. Rare items like cleavers, because RNG is also affected by how many of an item you have. Uh, let's see. So you could find another King Cleaver. Absolutely. Let's see. Return of the Energy to use this and the King, so we can just focus on that. Wait, it's in the thousands now? Yeah, this is uh, an endless run. It just keeps going and going. Uh, this is technically the second run through the nine floors. The ice starts getting a little bit tricky here. I want blocking to stay an option, and every one of these I cover is going to lose me. Okay, I will cover up one cleaver, because that's a cursed one that only activates another sometimes. I can afford to miss out on that. But uh, we are going to start hitting weakness, starting with this guy who's got two attacks. Look at that. Six weak. Ooh. I don't think I saved after that last battle. I think I'm going to lose the Queen Cleaver because I did not uh, plan this fight. I was, I was just so giddy with everything I had. That's a lot of attacks coming your way. Yeah. yeah. Gotta go back to saves coming. Okay. I mean, no shame in that play. However you play, I've yeah. done it. Both okay. Three. Ooh, I did. I did save right before it. I'm not super stupid. But uh, I mean, for the streams, I try to just do honest runs, just to see what I can do. Let's see. Yeah. It's a. Uh, not sure if you remember from previous streams, but that guy is tricky because once I defeat him, he turns into three people. See. Oh, that, they're the trench coat enemy. That's right. Yep. I think. Hmm. To maximize what I can do, I'm gonna have to knock out pretty much these two top sections. That'll keep me a lot of my armor. Okay. Then it's. Let's see, 120, 129, 133. Now, I think I might have just reached the point where I just don't have enough block to survive. Good dodge. No, that, uh, that only triggers from those. We'll try it with this next death, just keeping those exposed. They only trigger when I actually get dealt damage. But, yeah, I think that is going to be the key to survival on this really rough fight. Because that's that, these guys are in a hallway I can't bypass. Uh, but, I mean, easy first choice is always... Actually, what if I don't? What if I just start stacking the Dark White Stone now? Uh, and I'll just do that for shits and kills. Because it's still going to take me multiple turns to take them down. Let's see. So the important thing is getting dodges to trigger. So I actually can go without some of this defense. I do this and the luck rings, perhaps. That's free. I can do that to start stacking. So it's still a hundred. Yeah, hundred twenty up to one thirty. So first guy will deal damage, two dodges, and then thirty. Or that second guy deals damage and okay 
Yeah, that is slightly less. And I'll do one more on that one, so I got normal shield. Okay. Let's see, free breaking like that. This might be battle life to just start saving up hastes to get through. At 60, he's not going to get everything. He's going to kill me. Oh, wait, he's got rage. Okay, now first two don't deal, and I only take some of that. Uh, I think this is still going to kill me, though. Let's see. Uh, yeah, look. Actually, this passive damage is fine without... Okay, so I think I have to go all in with the basic shield first, so I can boost that haste I get. Because haste makes all my blocking do more block. I, I don't know a better way to explain that. Uh, let's see. The shield shields more. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. The one downside of effects is that... Uh, I lose one every turn. It can be positive or negative, doesn't matter. It always gets reduced by one. Let's see. I do that. I should have slightly more block still. There's the free. Four. Second one triggers to dodge. Yes. Okay. Slightly better. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to start buying time until I have so much haste I will not die. Which will also give me time to just get rid of all these big ice cubes. Because I think after the first round of big ones, they've stopped triggering, uh, getting more, just produced the smaller ones. It's uh, been a while since I've had to play the waiting game with some of these fuckers. Okay. I'm starting to get 112 passive. Yep, it is going to be the absolute scummiest way to live. But a given time, it will work. I mean, they got like 3,000 points. You got 66. It, it's fine. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, it's not a noble way to win. But uh, they'll be dead and I'll be alive. So that's all that matters. Uh, as soon as my passive is over 200, I should be safe for a bit. So I think that means next turn. Okay, and even if they somehow get through, I'll still have to dodge. Okay, do that. And, you know, we'll do one off of there. Ah, oh, shit, I was supposed to go after him for it. Well, you should know with buying time, I should get rid of the guys who give me mini ice cubes. I've got no drink, drink for them to cool. Okay. Yep. Uh, just absolute chaos. So it's really just death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. It is the funnest part of the cleavers. And I mean, look at that. Now I can switch to someone else, and they will just not be able to damage me at all. <laughs> oh. It's like, that. that's probably the worst voice. I'm sorry, part of it. It's a, it's a very slow-acting poison.
One thing I gotta be careful of, I cannot use this one item by accident, because it clears uh, all of their effects, good or bad. Oh. See? I'll just passively get all this extra weakness on them. To the point they just can't hurt me no more. Uh, yeah, now seeing as it is more or less automatic, what uh, questions about lore or campaign are you gonna try and get out of me? Well, I know it's never gonna work. I'm not gonna try. I mean, you don't know what info might be uh, not important enough for me to go, oh yeah, it's this. Let's see. Mm, I guess the Val's patron, right? Yep. I, we, I don't know what their identity is, but at this point, is it just an Easter egg or is it actually important to what's happening? It, it's an Easter egg. Yeah. I figured. Yeah. Like, there may very well come a point where she has to ask something that requires a major price, but uh, even then, that's still more Easter egg level than the whole campaign's fucked. Yeah. And I have to say, I don't think any of us have met their patron face to voice. I don't know any. None of us actually talk to them, right? We just hear about them you know, through Val. Correct. But from the sounds of it, they're pretty reasonable, all things considered, for like, warlock patrons. Like, they're not asking for your soul. It's just like, oh, you want this favor? Cool, give me cool like, <clears throat> magic stuff. That's equivalent price. I mean, they seem cool so far. Uh, they very much are not. And it's not just a matter of if she starts asking for too much. Uh, they have yeah. their own motivations. Yeah, they... You know, Beck does pretty good with RPing around meta-knowledge, so even if she watches this stream and finds out, it's not going to be a big thing. The ring did not choose her. The ring just happened to be there, and no one else had enough magic to activate it because, you know, magic was pretty recent. She is very, very slowly changing into a copy of her patron. Every spell she casts with her warlock slots gets her one step closer. She barely casts any magic tools, I think. So far. But there's a reason I'm letting her get some kind of slightly OP invocations that let her sneak attack with spells eventually. Because uh, cantrips also count towards that particular uh, I guess infection's a good word for it. Mm. Oh. Oh no. Yep. So, I guess. Yeah. Huh. Are they inherently malicious or just... It's not... I don't care hmm. about them. It's more that the patron does not care. It's, uh, it serves means to an end, but uh, they could care less about Val's intentions, so long as uh, she keeps wanting to work with them. God, I'm reaching a point where I don't want to get rid of anything. Let's see. If I trade food for a cleaver, I'd get rid of that. Uh, just need to find some cheap food. Not cheap food, not at all. I think... I think the game might count potion consumables as food. This might let me get a better than common cleaver. Come on, another yes, another queen. Okay, now the question is, let's see. 
put it there, it gets this one again. It's not perfect, but it'll still get me quite a lot. Yep, and then next I can just uh, replace the Joker Cleaver. Because it turning clockwise kind of makes it hard to use. Just imagine if I had all this space to work with here. Just all these levels I've had not been able to enjoy just because of the nature of this challenge mode. Let's see. I mean, you're close to a level up. Oh, I am. I'm going to have to go through these guys. Ooh, buddy. And Light and Cultists, uh, they stack Rage on each other. So I really need this clear status Weak. effects. Yeah. Uh, not weak. Rage makes them stronger. And they're pumping out fucking 20 each. God damn. This, mm. this guy needs to go first, though, because he does give me weak. Let's see. Can't kill him this turn. I think I'm going to have to start with the uh, tried and true. Just stack defense. Which actually will not work for this first round. This vampirism does damage. This is 49. That's already done. Let's see, 49 is only going to take another 2, so 23 will barely live. We'll use one dodge. Ew. Nope. I forgot about that rage. So yeah. Oh no. I think I forgot to save after that fight. I certainly forgot to save after that cleaver mm -hmm. trade. Or no, I did. Okay. Once again, I am smarter than I think. Okay, so I have to do a different strategy. Uh. Damn, is there a lore? lore? Hmm? Is there a lore reason why everyone's either rats or just toads? Mm, not a reason that they have to be. No. Uh, I mean, there is a reason that all the choosable characters are down here in the dungeon. Let's see, uh, Purse here is trying to get something valuable to be able to fix up their village, like just sell it. Uh, but Satchel the Bird what? is the lost prince of a kingdom that pretty much got overrun in a day. Uh, the pet girl Pochette was raised by bugs, and that's why she's able to work with them so well. The only other one I can remember okay. is the robots. Their creator was destroyed in war, they fled into the dungeon, and they have a regular job delving with Pochette. Okay, so all of that makes sense. Just question. At this point, Purse could just come back with all these cleavers and probably <laughs> be fine. Yeah, she would absolutely be fine. Like, what What else does she want? Yep, that is the uh, million dollar question. But for now, let's see, this food would be great, except I can't use it unless I'm under half health. I think I need a key to get into this. Yep. What was this event again? Different item, the same rarity. Let's see. None of these is really a big risk. I could attempt the relic. Maybe attempt... Maybe try to get something with another... That gives me another energy. Because I think that's the only way I can survive this first fight. Sorry, the first round. Don't bug out and give me a legendary. You gave me a legendary. Okay. So yeah, that is uh, not going to work. But we'll do one fight. Ah. I don't know. Maybe RNG will be better and they hit harder. Sorry, less hard this time. Let's see. Slip better chance. We'll do one normal shield and one of this single use. 62, I'll survive that. I'll take some of this and dodge. Oh, wait, no, 40. So, I actually rage. do that. 49, I have. 
13 left. I mean, 13 turn to 36 will still kill me. Yeah. This, uh, I think this is going to be a game of RNG how much damage they're going to deal. Yeah, this is a, when I go full save scum mode to see how far I can eventually get, this is how it usually ends. I've uh, never got a build where I go through, get past a 19th floor. It's uh, even with this, the easiest challenge mode, because scaling energy. I mean, hey, it's a great achievement for a one month anniversary. There, there are some crazy modes, though. The first stream I saw, just to see what people did, someone was doing CR8. They had an endless loop mode going, and they got to floor 99. I only stayed for the full hour and a half because they were coming up on 99, and I wanted to see what was beyond it. It is crazy. Uh, yeah, once again, we have to see. So, this time it is an even 50. They've only 12 left this time. 14. 34 is exactly enough to kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. I'm gonna try just once more, and if not, we'll just uh, screw around for the last half hour. Last half. Oop. Yeah, I can uh, show you some of the CR8 stuff. Because I don't quite understand him. I, I think people who understand, uh, like, programming knowledge will get it better than me. Uh, let's see, yeah, again, 50, so 12, 24, exactly the same as last time. So, yeah. We'll uh, call it here for the big floor, but this might still be the furthest I've ever gotten. Let's take a look through the saves. Uh, let's see, 4, 17... There's 14. You know, I'm tied. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a few 17s, actually. Nope, 27. That is the absolute furthest. You know what? We'll take a look at what that build is and how it uh, got stopped. Let's see, 27, 27, there we are. Right, Forge Frenzy. This is the uh, probably the actual easiest one. Uh, not sure if you noticed, but some of the items have a limit on how many enhancements I can put on them. Forge Frenzy, that limit is not there. Uh, and it also helps that it is an energy build, just drawing on mana. So let's see. And what all do I have in here? One item that has uh, been changed by the game, the Lantern. Ooh. We'll just uh, take that out in case it glitches. I guess it's from a previous version. Let's see, blue. I guess... I guess it glitched out, because usually this is summoned by the energy wand. And I got another pouch here. More bricks and spoiled milk, which we'll get rid of. I got a sixth regen on this ring. Actually, I can probably put that right there. Oh, that's why I have, because the conductor. Let's see. If that gives plus one damage, that gives that. Yes, I see why I did it the way I did. Okay, I th think I know this build well enough to try and show it off. Got all the way to the boss of... God, this would be the third run through. He's got 30,400 health. So it's probably understandable why he is a stopping block. Ah, uh, yeah, and I. See, armor isn't as uh, enhanced as it was in the previous run. Yeah, it's a. Uh, 
see, the way it's built is similar to what I tried at the end, because I've got three haste on this bad boy along with spikes. So early game, I can just, you know, toss all my energy into this, boost that haste for passive blocking. Uh, let's see, I probably went with poisoning. So then I could just energy wand and additional energy. Yep. Then that. Let's see. And this guy also can buff himself and I think summon minions. Which is why I have this one to cleanse effects. Uh, yeah, I will do that and summon one more energy. Then I just kind of save this rage thing for a bit. So I'm getting a total of four back every time, so I have to try and not overdo it. Oh yeah, minions are uh, on their way. That. Two, three. Look at that, you can barely see how much I've taken away from his health. That's just how much he gets. I can't see the number. Exactly. It's, uh, I've actually got a pretty decent size for the screen, too. Okay, and the thing that kills me is this uh, hazard static, because it just slowly fills up my screen. And it takes energy to get rid of. Mm, which is the whole point of your build, which, eh. Well, no, I can still access this, so long as it's covered, but I can't hit any other items. Which, uh, that makes it very hard. If hazard's over, I don't get the regen from this, I don't get fire on any attack from that. Uh, eventually, he's gonna definitely start bringing out some regen on himself. Which, to erase, I have to get rid of all this poison and fire damage. Uh, but there's one way around it, and that's using three energy to reshape my uh, inventory and just toss those out. Let's see. One, two, three. Yes, that works fine. Blocking is good, even though they're doing almost a hundred, no, more than 150, and then gonna try and rage at me. Shit. Ah, no, I'm seeing where it's actually killing me. I don't have anything to get rid of poison on myself except of this. And I can only get rid of. Looks like my max is nine every turn. Uh, so yeah, buff himself with rage, poison the shit out of me. Yeah. Eventually, they're just gonna get another enemy. Uh, we'll see how far we can take this one. This fight might be interesting and long enough to last till the end. They've uh, stacked me with 42 poison, which bypasses uh, armor entirely. Well, might as well go all in. I will not be dying. Sorry, I will not be winning. But I'm gonna do a massive amount of this giant wizard frog. Yep. But uh, we'll see how much damage I can do to them before they uh, all kill me. And look at this, now we've got freaking seven of this hazard to just block me up. Hell, I can't even kill these mini guys before he summons more. Uh, 
let's see what do these do. And those just give me extra block. That gives me regen. Now I can toss one of these on there. And I can last two turns with that, so I'm still getting passive mana. Okay. I have to use at least two blocks, because he's going to just do so much to me. But uh, next turn I'm dead, because they're going to give me another 90 poison. Which, if I recall, happens at the beginning of my turn. No, I guess it's the end of my turn. Okay, so regen's at the beginning, so I'm going to die after these last round of attacks. Let's uh, see the final count. Uh, currently it's 17270. Now I'm at 15,065, and I die. Not about halfway there. Yep. But yeah, that's uh, how crazy things can get. Especially with uh, Forge Frenzy, the second favorite mode. Yeah, I could not... I, I could not do this kind of thing. Just kind of... I'm bad at making builds. I usually just throw shit at people to see what works, as you can attest from D&D. Right. I mean, you do some things that work. They're just not a super gosh, uh, complicated, that's the term. It's not like I'm going to use this feature ties with this magic item and that magic item, the buff from them. It's just a bolting bond for everyone. Don't forget how many people have it. Uh, actually, right here I can show you all the stories, so yeah. Uh, want something valuable to say village and family. The prince. Rival Crow King uh, killed the rest of his family. Oh, and I just remembered, though it's not here, their magic backpack, the uh, magic item that this Crow King is looking for, is just attached to it. Uh, let's see. Toe, right. So they're uh, pretty much looking into the dungeon because Magic Tree told them. But they have magic sigils that are kind of like a second group of items they get. Uh, Pochette raised by she hermit just, crabs. <laughs> just, just, just banished. No explanation. No clue about what she did. Yeah. You know they're the ugly elder frogs, like the one who just killed me on that floor twenty-seven run. So you know, fuck them. Uh, and then CR eight. Uh, we'll go with a Frankenstein skin for this, because we're not doing anything serious. Isn't it just great? It is supposed to. That that is a uh, the joke of all their names. They are types of containers: perch, satchel, tote, pochette, and crates. Uh, there are also, I think, three or four more planned when they get to the full release. I swear to God, if they add one, it's called Fatty. No, it's not that. It's uh, actually, I got a little time. I can look that up because I do have a wiki. Characters. Uh, duffel, knapsack, pockets, and bindle. Which I can't tell what they are supposed to be, but it kind of looks like a fox, a possum, uh. I think that's a raccoon or a panda. Can't tell. But then another possum. Yeah, it's a. It's all the little critters. Yep. The yeah, thing is, this is probably going to be a short run anyway. Let's uh, let's go glass cannon. I only have one health, but uh, all the weapons get a boost in damage. So here's how CR8 works. Instead of getting to choose which items, it's going to shoot a laser. Any items that are in the way will get used. See, I believe this does two. Yeah, passes through two. 
and I do that. And then there's also the free chip, which I can just rearrange it. It's uh, very useful because cool. some items will turn after being used. Okay. Do you need to pass through all of an item or just part of it? Only one. But the more uh, spaces of an item it passes through, the more times it's used. Let's see. And the great thing about this shield item he has, the more spaces it uh, passes through, the uh, more it blocks. So if I just save the last item used there... Yeah, redirect charge isn't useful, and that's gonna fuck me over. I'm like I said, I don't really know how to use crate like effectively. It's uh, he's definitely gonna be the hardest of any challenge modes I try to do in the future. Let's see, let's start going all in on him. And uh, he also expands like this. I get Tetris pieces. Let's see, let me go two down, one up. So let's do this, and we'll just reverse the direction of the laser. Oop, there. Oh shit. Like that, it's still effectively the same thing. Okay, uh, question. Can hmm. you loop? Like, can you just yes. make a loop? There, uh, let's see, so if energy, let's see, runs off the side, oh, it does that sometimes, uh, that's weird. Well, hopefully this is just for the test it's doing that, but if the energy runs off the side, there's an item that will make the uh, rest of the energy come back out of it like a portal. It gets very... There are very crazy builds with that, because each portal is only usable once per loop. So if, to make an infinite build, you need a lot of those. But, uh, the one I was talking about earlier that got to floor 99 and beyond used bows and arrows. It's activating one bow uses every arrow. Which is, uh, it's also kind of broken, but cr the cleavers get way more crazy about it. Let's okay. see. I... I've never played this game, so I have no idea the specific mm -hmm. mechanics, but the way I'm seeing it now, yeah, this looks like a make the laser spiral in, you know, the squares are your friend, make it turn tighter and tighter corners. Uh, kinda, yeah. That's two, four, five, six, eight, ten. So that should give me enough block to survive the first guy. We kill the raccoon first, because it is going to steal all my cash. But yeah, that uh, red salamander guy I like the most, just because uh, he gets weaker the more items you use, which is uh, very useful, uh, especially on a cleaver build. It's like, oh, you're going to use all these things? Well, he's fucked. Uh, let's see. Luck can always... Uh, and I guess we'll take two of these debuff potions in case we fight any large groups. Then... With that, we only need one of these swords, because it'll just uh, rebound back. I guess I'm going to have to use one of the first debuff potions, 
because I want the bow to start building up arrows. And I guess that. Does order of operations matter? Uh, not with what I have so far. It mostly matters if I use all my energy first, then it won't use the stuff at the end. Let's see. Safe stuff is probably accessories, because a lot of them tend to be small. So we'll go 15. The more money you give him to scavenge, the more variety of items he brings you. And if he gets the rare ones, they can sell for a lot more than 15. Right, starting with a fight out the bat without any free choice. Uh, Buff because I had no space. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this one is free and it hits everyone, but it's only usable once per turn. It's uh, very nice. Let's see. Or, let's see how much was. Let's go one down. Up so. This for now and just start pushing it back. Ooh, sweet, another one of these. <laughs> Damn. I'm having to make some real hard choices. Uh, we'll put that there for safekeeping. We'll get rid of one of these. I'm not having to use that, so it's fine if it activates the once. No. I'll be able to use... Oh, wait, I can't take more? Shit. Fuck it, cleansing bomb, because I don't think this run is lasting long at all. Uh, so... Hmm? Yep. There is one thing I've been wondering with our campaign. Oh, yeah. Oh. Why the Raven Queen? Let's see. Uh, me and Lonnie haven't built too much onto it, but it is a uh, old family practice to have followed her, and that was tied to the family land. So uh, after the event, getting a little time back after being captured, she spoke with the Raven Queen. And they answered? No, it's more that she... Sp the Raven Queen spoke to... Katrin. And, uh... Katrin was like, sure, our goals align, that's fine. I got... <laughs> I got another one of him right across from the return. That's great. Uh... Let's so go for it. Her god called out to her, and she answered the call. Yep. And uh, returning to Rio, now that you guys know stuff is starting to go down, we will start exploring that. Yeah, because I don't... Mm. Why? Like, no offense to Cager, she's great, but also, that's not how gods usually do things. Absolutely Unless they're correct. <laughs> see. Yeah, she's a... Uh, I mean, she's definitely desperate. She's not a known goddess by the normal modern history. I mean, she's not based on any mythology. Mm -hmm. Her name is a title. I don't think she has a name. <laughs> what is her deal, actually, in this setting, then? Because in most other settings, she's a mortal that became a god. That's her shtick, but I, does that work? I, I don't think it's the same in this setting, is it? It is. Uh, the flavor of that that I particularly like was the version that uh, what is it? She had good reason to kill and replace that particular god of death. Finders new. 
for each space the destroyed item occupied, this gets one energy. And then I eventually use it and gets energy. So I think I have to put in the path of the laser, then once it's used I put it over something that then gets just no, the item above is destroyed when I attempt to use it. They have to put it near the bottom. Oh, yeah. it's, it grinds like a paper shredder. Let's see. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't. I can put it, so long as I spin it, whatever direction is on that nub. So I can safely put it there. You know, that will work. You know, that... Let's see. In fact, I can do this, because that only works if I have consumable item used before it. Uh, daggers are free. We'll do the dagger. What have we got? We got another... Just those. Health is useless, because I only have the one. Uh, so yeah, let's see what he's got. Uh, nothing great. Another really like move buff, another basic ass sword. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. And see the special chest that has bits and pieces. Hmm. More parts. Splitters! Oh, you get two lasers. Uh, but it halves it instead of doubling. But yeah, if it, uh, there are builds that effectively make it double. Because it splits, puts into a loop. There are some parts where when a charge goes through, it increases. I do a big loop with that. But I'm uh, not smart to do that effectively. I especially don't have the room for it currently. Let's see. I'll keep that for later game. So if I last on this long enough, I can probably do that. Yeah, because it's so rare to get that splitter. We'll do that. Go for the next, which should be the boss, and we'll see if I die. <laughs> but hey, if I die, I die. I've reached four hours. And I feel like it's only been three. Okay. First round's a gimme, because I summon... Go. First round was all I needed. The beloved ice cream. My favorite relic because it does the same as that scaling energy challenge. But I don't think there's a cap. Oh, uh, it just increases forever. Yep. So the ore has been changed. Now it gives me one energy for every 40 gold. But I lose gold if I get hurt. And then this... I mean, you're, you're on the glass cannon. So. Yeah, but I also don't have a lot of money. I think... I think with the glass cannon, it's too early to try for ice cream, so I'll take this. Which means I can't find higher rarity things. I also need to not put it there. Uh, let's see. Arrange it like this. Take one of the free items that. Yeah. You gonna say goodbye to your sword? I mean, I've got two of them. It's not too bad. Like, those are very deadly in the, uh, the infinite forging. Just because those hit everyone. So if I stack that with just burning and poison, it's like, ooh, it's nasty. Uh, but now I've got six health. Oh, and I can't fit armor. The bronze best plate is like <laughs> the literal best. Because as you can see, it gives additional armor nearby block and any weapons more damage. Uh, I'm not paying, playing for longevity, so it's fine. We'll. I'm probably not playing long enough to really effectively use microchip either. So we'll take the pig and get money. The enchanted swamp of poisons and healing. 
No, you made a comment last session that I'm <laughs> still thinking about. about. <laughs> uh, not still thinking about, but I just wondered. You called the gentry cowards. I did. That was a long pause if it was really nothing. Correct. Which means it is not nothing. I'm thinking of, uh, why did I reveal that? But, you know, I made a mistake. I'll have to live with it. Wait, so... Wait, my bitching all the time of them not doing anything to help people actually had credit? You were on the right path for the wrong reasons. Wait. Are they cowards for focusing so much on mortals and ignoring that living light thing? You're close. That's not why they're cowards, but they also uh, definitely can't handle the living light. It just progressed too quickly. But what's going on with them? See, I can't explain that. I just have to make sure I don't use any explanations that spoil other things. Let's see. They're cowards for how they handle their recruits. Their recruits? They do not let the baby birds fall out of the nest a few times before they fly. They are willing to be patient to the point of not acting quickly enough. A perfect example would be when your first mission failed because the one suspect got killed by the Skinsaw Man. Something they didn't see coming, for sure. And that is a legitimate thing for them to let you get away with because you didn't know that was going to happen. You thought you had time. Uh, yeah, that, that wasn't my fault. That just literally outside of my control. Yeah. But the fact is, they could have had multiple people try that. But uh, no one else really wanted to. Y you haven't asked, but the other people still with them at the time did not want to go investigate where goblins had recently been attacking. The recruits. Yep. Actually, wait a minute. Hold up. Now that I think about it, have I met any of the other recruits in, you know, the, the demiplane where the gentry are in actual Brazil? Like, have I ever met them on the field? No, you have not. Now, in their defense, in their defense, a good chunk of them also are not fit for Brazil. It's like, you can handle it because you're a dragonborn, you definitely don't look at first glance definitely not native. Uh, there's a lot of white people there, taken from a, like, in Mexico while on a tourist trip kind of thing. Now, ones who could be easily missed or fall under the radar before it's too late. But they're also not trying enough. And again, that ties into why the gentry you know are a bit cowards for not trying to push them to actually do the task that is super simple for uh, what they're asking. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I've assumed this entire time that all of these other people, you know, that I've met up in the, de the gentry, that I don't see them around Brazil because they're doing other missions in other parts of the world. And that is true Am for I hearing some right that's true for some of them. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of... A lot of the ones who are still with the gentry are dumb or too sheltered or possibly even, like, low-key racist to help people in South America. It's like, those aren't my people. I don't want to take jobs there. It's like, those are the only what? places that still need people. Things in Brazil are bad. 
Exactly. That's exactly. why you should send more people. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stupid, like, college white kids just like, I don't see why I have to do it. Why can't they handle their own shit? Hold up. So this entire time... How... Okay, besides Hunter, how many people have actually been doing shit? Oh, there have been plenty. Like I said, uh, there are recruits going to America, to Europe, to Asia. South America is one of those places where there's more problems than people who care to go to. So, I'd say there are, my... there are a couple so, people, you definitely haven't met them because they lived in South America busy. before they were abducted, so they do give a shit. But most of the ones still hanging out in the safety demiplane bubble don't give a shit about other people. Least of all from other countries. Why the hell did the Gentry recruit them? Because they were in need of saving. Picked up similar circumstances as you. As the Catron. So... They're less recruits and more just stowaways. Yep. Why haven't I heard about this before? Coral? Uh, because Coral would not want to, for one, still prideful that he doesn't want to admit the gentry is failing in that way. Uh, but secondly, you haven't asked, and like I said, the gentry don't think it's a big enough problem to force their hands yet. It is a huge problem. Oh, absolutely. The things, are, <laughs> it's, uh, things are escalating so much in Brazil. Yeah, the uh, the comment of them being cowards is more from an outsider's perspective, not knowing the ex exact details. It's just also not very far off. It's like, we don't want to alienate them and have them I... lead. We only have so many field recruits. It's like, them not doing anything I, with you is the same as them leaving. I've been bitching to you so much about how the <laughs> gentry has so much potential to do good, but isn't doing anything. Yep. So, okay, not to say that the entire faction of the gentry is full of cowards, but I assume my section of the world is really understaffed? Severely, yes. It's like, there okay. are parts in America that are absolutely devoid of people, unable to keep track of monsters and dungeons up here. But all the Americans are readily willing to go there. They have a surplus of villain volunteers. But not enough problems. Yep. I... Mm. Coralon is lucky that I'm trying to manage my anger. Okay, I think I might be able to start doing some craziness now. You've got two reversers and the splitter. So we do that there. That shouldn't change anything. Let's see. See, I have four energy, two each, goes two, two, goes back. And any access should just go through like that. So let's see if that works as planned. Are, are the Archfey at least aware of their own inadequacies? Or are they just like, are they just ostriching themselves head in the sand? Uh, Archfade level? Uh, middle ground. They understand the organization as it is is not working. They aren't seeing the staff not doing anything as the major problem it should be. They think it's more a problem of uh, they don't have the right incentives 
or something along those lines, rather than incent. Yeah. You should not give out rewards to employees to do their job. Wait, why did it split like that? Shit. Okay, I think the splitter does further split like that. So I do need something here. Ah oh, well. Uh, but yeah, now you know why uh, some shit is not happening the way it should. Okay. Okay. Nick, remind me again. The next <laughs> rank that I get in the gentry, I can start recruiting people, right? I think the next rank is you can start forcing people on missions with you. Yes. The rank oh, after so that can, is... Can, yeah, you can get people out of there. Recruiting. Yep. Uh, so the actual, wait, like, recruiting... Rank, can... Yeah, the level after that is recruiting people to the gentry. Okay, but immediate next level, I can make these lazy bastards actually do their job. Correct. Like, you got a few with that last mission of escorting people out, because the whole point of it was, you know, escort people out. Let's see. Mm, both of these are pretty good. I am... You are so, so angry, angry now. And the worst part is... I am... The worst part is Hunter doesn't even know yet, so he can't act on that anger yet. Oh, as soon as he finds out, I'm going to pause this scene. You know I am. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great to watch. And I'd be completely justified. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's that bad. It, From what I've seen, every other faction, even the shitty ones had their <laughs> shit together at least uh, yeah gentry is just a uh, too passive it's why i consider their exact opposite to be the cartel the cartel has their shit okay. together they just do it for very selfish reasons That why me, me and Val butt heads so much. No, it's just a happy coincidence. I and mean, she is a bit a project of her of the cartel. She was actively trying to do better. I think the problem is you guys are just too similar. You guys will in the end want to make your respective organizations better. I mean she was willing to stop the uh, informing on them to the uh, the Ibis because she has a girlfriend with them very much in danger, nearly died but she used that event to turn them to actually do not, not good per se, but definitely better better targets Ooh, no. the match game Mafia I want to do corners thing is that this is a curse, I know that, but the other one was there, so, uh, the toilet paper heals. There we go, I want that, because that's not just a reverser, it also adds damage to a weapon. That's another curse, which I have not seen, so safe, safe, safe is there. Safe. Where was this? I think, I think it was here. Damn it. Must have been there. Uh, but oh well, I think that axe uses a uh, gold anyway. But with that, uh, weapons start getting a plus two. Okay, wait. Uh, look at the right ab above and below the splitters, the corners. Oh, What's yep. different about them? So this one, 
Uh, I don't know. I think if it comes in that direction, it'll flip the switch and change which of these is active. Uh, but I've seen other switchers where if anything goes through, it switches. So it might just be a bug on the first item you get. And that's just a corner. Though there is one that has spikes that deals damage spikes. when energy goes through. That's fun. Let's see. It's a key and I don't... No, I don't have. Yeah, it's a, it can be very easy to get lost in this, because I'm almost another half hour through this stream beyond the four I promised for celebration. Okay. So I guess, fuck it, we'll see how far we get before I pass out I guess, the desk. <laughs> I guess another question, since you're might as well revealing secrets, and no, I won't act on that metagaming. Mm -hmm. Yep. I kind of did with Locke's tea thing, but he was also very desperate for it. <laughs> I, you did. He was definitely metagaming on that. Uh, but I think Hunter properly responded, considering. Let's see. Team. I. Wait. Okay. So, knowing what I know now, what. I guess, what do these lazy bastards actually think of? Like Hunter going out and doing so, like, what's my reputation among my peers? I guess they respect you. They don't understand why you're this willing, because South America is a bunch of strangers from what they've heard. You're Canadian. Not only Canadian, because they're... half your family is from Asia, a different continent entirely. Still. Because they're people. Yeah, but, I mean... Have you met some, uh... American racists? It's like, uh, it's not too far off. Uh... Oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. That's, uh... The big reason I was so glad you got angry at uh, at Coral, even though it's for the wrong reason. Ooh. Getting some weird shapes now. So no matter what I do, it is going to cut something off. Okay. Mm. Well, oh, can I go below? Yeah. I think I think I got it. The switcher is like the splitter, except you know it's it's the train track. It's trolley trolley pump. You just switch which side is open. Yep, it costs zero energy for me to do that. Hmm. I just noticed this thing. The weapon next to this is used. It gets a free energy charge. Only used once per turn, so I think. Let's see. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Nick. Sometimes, like, I feel like I'm not doing enough for the gentry, given all the help that they've given Hunter. And now I'm learning that I'll, I'm the only <laughs> one actually pulling my weight. In South America. In South America. Uh, but absolutely correct. Let's see. And this has been happening since the beginning. I assume, like the the, the conception of the gentry. 
This is like a slow, ongoing problem. So the, the gentry's when, not when, as old as they uh, make it sound like they are. Yeah. Yeah. So when Coral threatened to kick me out of the organization for not having my shit together he was willing to kick out the one guy actually doing things in this region of the world yes but also because he knew you would probably stick around with the friends you had and Loki he would have found some way to help you without making it obvious he was doing it he still haven't found out all the secrets he has about why you're treated differently than the others he's tutored. It's not because I act so much like the one guy he failed. Yeah, there is more to it than that. Oh, is this some Destiny bullshit? It's similar to Destiny bullshit. It is definitely a choices of the universe level thing more than anything else. Ugh, that is disgusting. But I I have to admit, I like Coral. I think he's fun. He's a flawed character. But goddamn is he an idiot sometimes. <laughs> Duh, absolutely I, correct. <laughs> I, I know he's a god now. I don't think... I don't think that changes Hunter's opinion that Coral is a goddamn idiot sometimes. Yeah. And that's coming from the guy with eight intelligence. That's saying something. Well, hey, I, I don't know this, so I can't act on it. And I can't really just ask it now, because that would be metagame, so I'd have to stumble upon it in-game. Yeah. Which means, which means I don't have to wait until you drop that hint in front of me. <laughs> I can't go looking for it. I think the opportunity will be a lot closer than you think, though. But with the I mean, current okay. status of Rio, just... martial law... Yeah, no, I... Okay, I promise this is not me metagaming. I was actually planning to do this. I was going to start asking members of the gentry with things going on as they are in Rio to start... In, you know, escorting people is nice. This is like... How do I say this? Uh, how do I say this? Uh, start, I guess, becoming an uh, information network. Because isn't the whole shtick of bards is that, oh, they're performers, they hear everything going on in all the taverns, and, you know, as Faye, they can get in and out of places to be a reliable source of information. Yep. So yeah, why aren't they doing that? I was going to bring it up. At, I promise this is not me, but I was planning no, to do this from no, the start. That's absolutely fair, because they have reached out to contact you before, but you found out through the cartel and Val. Yeah, which is like... Why is why did no one else tell me this? <laughs> it's like this area you sent me to help, and is very close to where my home base is. Nothing. No paper origami butterfly. No sending. No, just hey, heads up, Rio's fucked. A phone call, something. And I know phones work. <laughs> Don't give me Harry Potter bullshit where all oh, electronics don't work around magic. Uh, I will give you some little bit of bullshit. Archfey can't use sending to outside the Feywild. Or at least the gentry can't because of the defenses they have. Jesus. 
Yeah, they are uh, also a bit of the cowardness. They put way too much effort into those defenses. They uh, did not against... have to cut off sending. <laughs> against what? I, the, okay, the living, living light. light. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah. But how would the living light? In how would the living light? You, you know, uh, manipulate sendings. That just doesn't make sense. I mean, you already know the cartels suspecting how the peacekeepers are listening in on sendings. It's yeah. not about the living light listening in. It's about people infected, but either don't know or don't care, listening in. Okay, fair enough, but also... Isn't the Feywild all about, you know, not Morse code, but, you know, not not meaning exactly what you... S don't they have, you know... A, a, a special contingencies for that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah Arch, a language? Arch, yeah, Archfey with contingencies, Morse not really. But they are also in a demiplane, so it's limited for, you know, infected individuals finding their way there. They need to know more than the demiplane existing. They need an inside you know, man. They, they need exact contents, and you oh, they could just change what happen, what's actually in there every once in a while. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, they're not the brightest at seeing the uh, obvious things. Also, I think I'm going to somehow accidentally complete this run in under an hour, even though it's typically a two-hour thing to the ninth floor. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks. <laughs> and rightfully so. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, campaign, like, session zero, session one, but, like, when I joined up with this giant fox spirit in the forest and I got teleported to Bronco, I had a bit of, like, starstruckness, of, like, oh, I'm working with the Fey of all people, and now I just feel jaded, like, these people barely know what they're doing. <laughs> And you're only in your 20s. You should not be feeling jaded already. Is it, what all did I get? What? I got two freaking armors. Just give me... God damn it. All I want is one of these two weapons. And there we fucking go, finally. Okay. There we go. Now it's doing... 45 with every successful attack. Let's see. Need to put that out of the way. So, hold up. Well, Val is slowly being turned into her patron. Yes. Locke, well, Enough said about Locke. I think we, at this point we all know what's going on with him. I, 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 we all know what his shtick is. Yeah, but it's still funny for you to phrase it like that. It's like we already know him. Like, enough said. So, what's what's me and Katrin's like problem then of no longer being ourselves? Uh, they're not. For both of you, that similar theme would be the people you know no longer being how you know them. Catron's being coming up uh, very soon. What's, m what's mine? <laughs> A family member. I think saying exactly oh. which one will need to wait with the surprise, but, uh... What do you mean? There's only two. One of them's an insane asylum, which, yeah, they'd be different after being held against their will, therefore 
almost 10 years, and the other is not an infant anymore, so... Jesus, the robber was the one who survived. My random chance. Uh, but he still has got to die. Good lord, how am I getting all these freaking lucky rings? It's, uh... Okay, we're just gonna ditch these. Toss that. Uh, these are not mattering much because I need to last more than one turn. So I guess we'll do... There we go. Now it's up to 50 per slice. Okay. No, I don't actually have to face most of these guys. Duct tape. can't afford it? Never mind. I was gonna see if I get these effects to go twice on him. Uh, let's see. I think I can afford to sell... I, mean, I guess this. Because excess energy kept going off the map. Yep. See ya. Uh, for funsies, for next combat, we'll, uh, just freeze everyone. found out the little bits of plot that is going to make Hunter just oh so pissed as soon as he actually knows. Also, I don't, I don't want to make it all about him, but given the shit he's <laughs> been through and currently going through, it is kind of unfair that he has to be the one to get people's shit together. Yeah, absolutely. But it's gonna be oh so funny for me. I am the traumatized one. Why do I have to tell you how to do your job? You know what? No, this is this is the excuse. This is the excuse I needed of why the hell Hunter would retire from adventure. <laughs> Uh, if, th if this wasn't a good excuse, what would be, really? Why did you stop? Because people are incompetent. <laughs> That's true, everyone. No, 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 no. These guys are beyond that level of incompetence. Trust me. I feel like would Coral be offended? His pride would probably mean he'd be offended. And I just go, no, 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 you don't get to do that. I should be offended. I had to fix the shit for you. It's like, how long have you I'm been alive my... compared to me? I'm in my goddamn 20s. You're a god. Times. Fun, fun times. I campaign. I'm not gonna have another disgruntled mentor in campaign three, am I? Uh, I don't think so. Though I also wouldn't really describe Coral as disgruntled. Okay, way too. Uh, been alive way too long, mentor. Okay, yeah, that that's fair. You've uh, picked up quite a few of them. Oh, these fuckers! Okay, 
Okay, okay. I can't be mad about it forever. You can try. Not to be. <laughs> Oh, God. Mm. Why do I feel like Val would laugh at me if she ever found out? Like you Not as a hunter me. or you as Michael? Both. I think she would laugh at some of the things heading your way. Uh, I think in character as Val, she would be very upset that, you know, the gentry are shit at their jobs. Thinking about Andrea, Andrea would absolutely laugh at Hunter. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hey, between Derek and Hunter, I really just got the shit end of the deal when it comes to these things, didn't I? Yes. In the funniest way possible for me. Item that gives me healing. That's nice. And all it took was uh, accepting this curse bow that's gonna follow me after every fight. But you know what? I don't need another fight. The boss rooms are right there. Uh, let's see. Don't have a shield with a slot left. I think I'm good on block. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try and get some burn on these weapons. Uh, two slots on him. I can't believe I picked up on you slip, letting slip a plot thing on accident. Now, I slipped up too. Week. I was not aware I said that. So I was just so into you the did. character, I didn't even think. It's like, I should keep this little bit in. Someone will jump on this fact. Yeah, it's a, that's a very specific word to describe an entire faction. Cowards. Hmm. If there's one thing I'd that Hunter isn't, I, I wouldn't say he's a coward. No, he's certainly a fool at times. But I don't think oh, there yeah. have been any move moments where he was against doing the right thing, despite how hard it would be. I mean, he was ready to take on an entire ogre's fortress <laughs> at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. Not the smartest move in the world, absolutely not. But he was he was ready to do it. How am I just stumbling into a good build for the character I understand the least? And that's... that's how it is sometimes. Yeah, but like, I, not even a full hour. This is maybe 45 minutes in what has typically been a two-hour... Oh, Magic Puddle's new. I guess this is specific to him because he needs a charge. <gasps> this is the gay thing I've been seeing. Ooh. Okay. Reappear at this item. Oh. So the way it, I've seen it works, it goes like that, shoots out that direction. So, bitches. Hey, you're late. Bro. I'm about to wrap up. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I. Uh, oh, this. Yeah, oh, I. Yes. I learned something that, my god. I am so angry about <laughs> I don't think there's any reason for Locke to delve into it, but to summarize, there was a comment about the gentry being cowards last session. One I was so in character I did not notice I made. And uh, Michael asked about it. They are cowards. They don't... They don't get on the cases of their... What's right? Members, I suppose? to actually go out into the world and help. There are a bunch of people who are just kind of lounging around in the safe space of the demiplane because they don't care about what's going on in South America that Hunter is facing. 
you can understand how upset I am because <laughs> one, oh yeah, I'm pretty oh, much yeah. the only one doing my job in this section of the world, and two, Coral got my, on my ass so much for my one slip up when everyone else isn't doing shit. Uh, and the conversation okay. built from that was so good. I was just doing a second run to kill time, and I uh, accidentally beat what's typically a two hour to get to level nine in 45 minutes with a character I do not understand. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Sounds like you're good at the game, Megan. No, no. I just didn't think about it because I was thinking about Michael's questions. So if there's anyone in chat who's been paying attention to this, uh, thank you for staying for almost an extra hour <laughs> of the uh, almost five hours of my four-hour stream. I guess I'll find someone to raid. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and my voice is good, which is the most surprising bit. Oh, definitely not. She caps at three. <laughs> yeah, it... Uh, let's describe it as just a infection, and I'll let your memory... Sorry, I'll let your imagination take care of the rest. Perhaps. Memory's more fitting if I outright reveal that to Val, thinking back of all the stuff she does know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raid over to the Cult of Many, who's just doing a chill art stream. Uh, yeah, first I'm gonna sign off with you guys in Discord. I'll be back after I close out this stream, but, uh, yeah, see in a few. Uh, and yeah, the rest of you joining me for a cult of many. As soon as I get to the right, there we go, raid channel. Cult of many. I've seen her do a art stream, but it's uh, it would be very nice to come down from this. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, thank you for anyone patient to either stay here with me or watch the VOD through all this. You are very special to me. I would metaphorically kiss you on the mouth for all this kindness. But, uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. Uh, till next time. <laughs>